things. So I guess I'll start a new one. Um, create new world. Oh god, oh my eyes. <laughs> Like, seriously, all the, like, all the text bunched together, it just, ugh. Alright, there's your alpha warning. Which, I find it incredible that this game, um, this game looks like it, it came out in, like, 1981, but, um, like, I think I've seen better looking games in 1981. But no, it's a modern game. <laughs> Uh, so, okay, let's see. What have we got here? Um, hmm. So, okay, world size. I, I guess I want a medium world. History. Uh, the length of pre-generated history. Current is 250 years. Uh, I, 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 I don't know what that means. Uh, medium, medium... <laughs> I guess medium all the way then. Medium all the way. Natural savagery. Huh. <laughs> well, see, I'm I'm already like I'm overwhelmed by the amount of options in front of me. That's that's sort of the thing. I'm I'm overwhelmed by like, hmm. You know, what What exactly does this mean? What does history mean in a gameplay context? What is... I, I can get number of civilizations, I can understand that. But, uh, like, you know, the savagery, uh... It, there's just certain things, right? Uh, let's just say, let's say yes. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh the, just look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Uh... Uh, okay, things are happening now. Um, the age of myth. I, I guess enter? I, I guess let's enter? So it's year 57. Um, okay, it's it's year 57. Historical, historical figures? Uh, 4,928. 1,619 dead. Uh, 27,183 events. Again, I don't know what any of these variables mean. I don't know what they mean. Okay, um... So, I guess we will use the world as it currently exists? Uh, again, I'm just, I'm trying to, I'm trying to comprehend what I'm looking at. So, uh, Adel Adelaylathu, Adelaylathu, the wondrous domain has been created. Uh, so enter is accept, I can abort, I can export. Oh, I can look around, huh? So I, I guess my little X there, that's me. And I guess I can, I can look around at the world that has been created before I actually get into playing it. Huh. It's a pretty big world. I mean, okay, I can I can kind of get an idea of what I'm looking at. Kind of. Like, I can understand the green is supposed to be, like, plains or forests. Uh, okay, the light green is plains. The dark green seems to be forests and or swamps. Uh, the yellow is fields, also fields. Maybe deserts? I don't know. The blue is ocean. Okay. And the white? Uh, uh mountain, mountains, of course. Okay. And now, okay, these lines. These lines. Uh, I, I guess maybe they're roads? Maybe. But they don't really seem to connect to anything. Like, they're, they're roads, but they don't connect. Or maybe I'm interpreting them wrong. I don't know. Uh, I guess let's accept this. Oh, I feel like I feel like I'm in for uh, I'm in for some punishment. <laughs> okay, so we've generated our world. So start. 
playing. Okay, yeah, that's that's the one that I uh, yeah, that's the one I tried to do before. So let's yeah, this one, region two. So okay, I I know that there are three different modes to this game. Well, okay, so dwarf fortress, adventurer, and legends. I'm guessing that I want to just stick to dwarf fortress. Oh, I yeah, I don't I don't even know about the the manual. I don't even know about the manual. Uh, so let's just go ahead. Dwarf Fortress mode. Hmm. Uh, I, I guess we're playing the game now. Okay, let me, let me just give me a second to rub my eyes here. Uh, Okay, uh, so we've got local, region, and world. Now, if I hit, uh, right. Okay, okay, so I'm moving on the region map. And I guess the local map is, like, a more in-depth look at the area that I'm, that's on the region. I, I'm guessing that's what I'm looking at. And then the world map. The world map just looks like a fucking mess. That's that's all I'm gonna say is the world map looks like a fucking mess. So, uh, hmm. Oh, tile sets. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, bear with me. So, okay, uh, this is where I started the game. The Wondrous Domain, The Frilly Continents. Hmm. Okay, so the forest, the forests of fancying, uh, temperate con conifer forest, temperature temperate, trees heavily forested, other vegetation thick, surroundings calm, brook the camp of vision, little soil, flux stone layer. Hmm. So okay, what are my options here? I've got the movement keys to control the region cursor. N is notes. Uh, N. Notes are only saved when you. Oh, so I could like add a note. Oh, okay, that's a, uh, that's actually a uh, fairly common thing with uh, games of this time. But anyway, um, yeah, quote unquote of that time. So anyway, um, let's see. We can. U M K H to to move the local area. Wait, so like, okay, if I hit the U key, oh, oh my God, <laughs> I see, I see now. U M K, oh my God, <laughs> I get it. Oh, and then capital. So I guess shift U M K H is to resize local area. Okay. So tab changes mode. E is to embark. Uh, R is to reclaim unretire. F is find desired location. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so I can em I can embark here. I don't always have an option to embark. Hmm. Now what does tab do? What is what does changing my mode do? Oh 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 my god! Oh my god! Okay, so let's let's look at this. So neighbors, dwarves, goblins, elves, humans. Okay. So your civilization, the trampled relic, the sabers of perfection, the fatal minds. The tame cloisters, the confining lenses. What, what am I even? I, I don't even. Uh, relative elevation. Huh. Interesting. Cliff indicator. Hmm. Okay, I'm trying to see, like, how do I interpret this data? So, okay, blue. 
green, yellow, red. So red is like danger, cliffs. Hmm. Okay, I, I, I gotta be honest, I don't even begin to know how to comprehend, like, even half of the data in front of me. I, I don't even begin to know. Uh, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. So I guess I haven't really started yet, because there's an embark option. So where do I want to embark from? Uh, I, I don't really know. What would be a good spot to embark from? Hmm. I wonder what those giant squares are. Oh, oh, I see. So there's like a there's a legend there. So like what? Red is shallow clay. Yellow is a very deep soil. It's an aquifer and a flux stone layer. Oh, okay. I kind of get it. I kind of get it. Hmm. Kind of. Okay, what am I looking at, like, right about here? Uh, it's, oh god. I, I don't even know what this is. But I, I guess I'll, I'll embark here? I mean, the game started me, like, well, let's see, little, little soil, some soil, very deep soil, shallow clay, oh, okay. So I guess maybe we want good soil, right? Okay, okay, let's embark here. You have selected an an area with an aquifer. It might be very difficult to obtain stone here. Okay, so I, I guess I need to obtain stone. That's like the main thing, right? Okay, so I guess maybe I want to start off in some mountains. Hmm. Okay, how about right here? Right here. So, embark. Uh, play now. Prepare for the journey. W wait. So, I, I have a play now or prepare for the journey carefully option. Uh, prepare carefully? Oh my god. What are, what are, we, what are we doing here? Hmm. Okay, so we've got, hmm, so these are names and peasants, so I'm, I'm guessing, hmm, so I'm guessing these are my dwarves, right? <laughs> well, let's see, so, so these are my dwarves, right? The, the names, um, I don't know what the ten means beside them, they're all peasants apparently. But I don't know what the number next to the name means. So I can add, view, or customize. Hmm. Uh, can I go over here? But, oh wait, what does this mean? It says, not miner, not weaponsmith, not bowyer. Like, what, what does this all mean? It, not, it, there's a lot of them. They're all five, and it says, it's, it's like what they aren't. This is telling me what they are not. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like, I, I feel like, uh, I have become the plebs. Uh, okay, so, uh, I, I guess I just embark. Let's just hit that E key. Wait, tab, items, they have items? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's just embark. Uh oh. Hold on, it's it's doing things. You have arrived after a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond. Your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all of Tang... Tangathzang... Tangathzaneg. There are almost no supplies left. 
but with stout labor comes sustenance, whether by bolt, plow, or hook. Provide for your dwarves. You are expecting a supply caravan that just before winter entombs you. But it is spring now, enough time to delve secure lodgings. Ere the grizzly bears get hungry. A new chapter of dwarven history begins here, at this place. Zim... Zim... Zimkaliden? Zimkaliden? I don't know. Uh, Plains Paddles. Strikes... Strike the Earth. I don't, I don't know, but let's do it. <laughs> oh, okay, this is a whole other window, a whole other gameplay thing. So I can... I guess I can look around. Um, what am I looking at? trying to interpret things here. So the little smiley faces, from what I know, the little smiley faces are my dwarves. So I've got my dwarves, and they're doing things. I can look around. Alright, I can I can look around here. Um, I'm not terribly sure what the yellow... Like, what that big yellow square with the symbols on it are, I'm not too sure what that is. I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to comprehend, but I, I'm not seeing it. Um, okay, so when we've got announcements, I can build. Uh, we have Civilization World Info. Let's view announcements. And no recent announcements. Uh, okay, how about build, uh, well, Civilization World Info. Oh, okay, so this is, so we the, uh, we are the Tangath Zane Zaneg, the Trampled Relic Dwarven. Uh, details. Hmm. So I guess these are names of dwarves in our civilization? Huh. And they are apparently barons and baronesses. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I can look at trade information once I have a broker with appraisal skill. You have no agreements with this land. Uh, military. Okay, we have no military yet. That's obvious. Hmm. Designations. Huh. So I can mine up stair, up down stair, remove up st oh, oh god, oh, oh god, oh god. <laughs> uh, what else we got? We can make burrows, hauling, stockpiles, zones. I have no idea where I'm supposed to begin with this, like I have absolutely no clue what I'm supposed to be doing first. Or even, like, why I'm supposed to do anything. Uh, building. How about B for building? Uh, armor stand, bed, seat. Wait, is this like a... hold on. Hmm. Okay, I have, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with all this. Hmm. So I can make burrows. Is that housing? So I, would, I think they need housing. Hmm. So A is to add new burrow. Hmm. Oh wait, no. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't know what to do here. Wait, statues. Huh. So I have a seven... Wait, wait, what did I hit for that? Z. Oh, status. I, I don't know why I saw statues. Status. <laughs> so, uh, okay, I have seven people. And, ah, here we go. This is what I wanted. Uh, so I can see, like, the color of their little uh, smiley face. That's... Okay, so the color of the smiley face, that is the... Uh, Okay, that's like what they do. So they're a miner, woodworker, stone worker, ranger. Well, all mine are like kind of blue right now. Okay, yeah, peasant. So all of mine are peasants. Red is children, and at dark blue, I'm, I'm even I'm having a hard time even seeing the dark blue. It's uh, fishery workers. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, here's our food stores. So we've got meat, fish, and plants. Uh, seeds, drink, other. Okay, okay. Hmm. So I'm guessing that I'm gonna run out of food and, and all that uh, if I if I, if I uh, idle too long, right? Oh, it's 15th granite, 57, early spring. So I, yeah, this is a timetable. Hmm. Okay, well, you know, I could use a little help. Like, what should I be doing, if anything? Because I'm looking around. And I'm trying to, like, I just don't know what anything is or what to do. Uh, I, I need to, I'm guessing I need to build things. But I don't know, like, why, how, what, I, I don't, I, I just don't. Hmm. I guess we'll do buildings, right? A job list. What about job list? So, okay, can I assign jobs? M manager. A manager is required to coordinate work orders. Hmm. Okay. How about building? Building, um... Hmm. Let's see, plus, minus, asterisk, slash, to select. Uh, so like, okay, hold on. Plus... Wait, wait, hold on, we're doing things... So does that go down the list? Okay, so that's going down. Oh, oh, I see. So, okay, that's plus and minus is just, that's up and down. Got it. Alright. So I can make doors, I'm guessing this is to choose to build things, right? Uh, again, I don't know... Hmm. Farm plots, uh, weapon racks, stack... Statues, slabs, tables. Like, is there a, is there a how? Like, how do I make a house? I, I guess that's that's what I should say. Like, how how I make house? Oh god! And I, I gotta be honest, this game, like, I'm, I, don't mistake it as me saying I don't like it, because I'm I'm intrigued and fascinated. However, um. Like, I, this game actually hurts my eyes to look at, alright? It, it actually is hurting my eyes to look at it. Like, if, if anything makes me stop playing this, it's probably going to be the eye strain. <laughs> okay, I... like I can, Okay, look, I can make windows, right? I can make windows, but how do I... Like, I, I don't think I have a house to put the windows on. Like, how do I, how do I do things? How, how I do things? I don't know. Wait, Trade Depot. That sounds important. That sounds like a building. Um. Hmm. A hive, a bookcase. Uh. Hmm. Containers, farm plots. Well, okay, how about this? What if I want to make a farm? P. So, placement. Building present. No mud soil for farm. Mud is left by water. So, no, no mud soil for farm. Block. So, there, there is no mud or soil for the farm. Blocked. Huh. So I guess there's there's not going to be any farm here. Hmm. Wait, I can change height? What does that mean? Oh, wait, like... 
Huh, so I could I could like make a bigger plot. I see, okay. Uh no, that uh, no. Um Okay, well that's an interesting way to build things, I, I have to say. <laughs> like oh okay, like I don't have any um so apparently I cannot make farms because we don't have any soil or anything like that. Uh, apparently I don't have soil, so, um, huh. Let me go back to the, to the main thing. I can resume. Let's, what happens when I hit resume? So I guess we're, we're in action now. Uh, our dwarves are, are doing things. What is that D that's moving? What what is that D moving around there? Huh. Is a W on the move? <laughs> uh Okay, okay, that doesn't seem to be helping me out any. Oh god. Okay, so have I, like, have I, anyone who knows, have I fucked myself by not building anywhere near, um, like, apparently I, there's no soil here. Uh, like, the only thing I really know that I might want to build is a farm, and there's no soil here. So, have I, have I picked badly? Have I, have I picked badly here? Um, if so, I might want to restart. But, uh, let's see, so we can view rooms and buildings, uh, how about that? No recent reports. View items in buildings. Hmm. Status. Okay, still seven dwarves. Hmm. Okay, let me think. about set building tasks building tasks and preferences okay so uh, okay so we have a wagon that's so oh oh that's that is um so that's a wagon that that big block that yellow block that's a wagon okay i i, I get it now so we have a wagon that's about it. <laughs> hmm. Okay, well, I've got a wagon. Um I'm just I'm looking things over right now. Zones. What does zones mean? Uh I have no idea what zones means. I can place zones. Oh, I can make activity zones, so... Wait, what? <laughs> huh. Huh. I'm not sure. Oh, wait, wait, is this water right here? It's got... I think this might be water. The blue might be water. So, maybe we can do fishing, right? Maybe? <laughs> I have no fucking clue what I'm doing, drumstick. And my eyes hurt. This game makes my eyes hurt to look at it. <laughs> I'm lost, help me. Uh, let, let's see, um... Can I... Okay, let's see what I can build. Is there anything that relates to food in here other than farm plots? Uh, let's see what we've got floor hatches like I, I don't under I can make wall grates hmm so I can make wall grates floor grates I can make wells I, I'm, I'm guessing we might need a well at some point uh, hmm hmm Okay, so I guess there's no, like, house option. I, I guess I have to do, like, walls, floors, 
stairs, tracks. Okay. So that's what I have to do. I have to I have to kind of build like the walls and the floors and oh, okay, I guess that's how housing works. Hmm. Hmm. Let me think. Let me think. And also I see a link. <laughs> <laughs> huh. A community upgrade, huh? Huh. I may have to check that out, but it's like this is just this is what I uh Huh. Well, uh, see, I here's my main issue really with the graphics. It's like I can slowly comprehend what I'm seeing, but, um, it's more that it hurts my eyes, like, you know, my eyes are actually not the best. I do, in fact, have to wear glasses sometimes, and, like, looking at all these little symbols, um, it is actually physically hurting my eyes. That's my main problem right now. <laughs> but while I'm here, I want to try to, like, do things, you know? I want to try to get things done. So, uh, l let's see, like, I just, I want to get a feel for how the game even works, you know? Uh, so let's see, like, okay, I'm, I'm guessing food is going to be a big concern, so how get food? Well, we got some water. Uh, hmm. We've got animal traps, which I'm guessing those would be useful. Uh, how about a house? Like, how? To, let me try to build a house. Let me let me see how I can how I can build housing. Um, what have we got here? Is there? We can make doors. So, uh, how about wall? Yeah, how about let's try to make a wall. Okay, so we got walls, floors. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Oh, oh, I see. In oh, that's interesting. It's interesting. So I guess I can just get rid of that, huh? You know that that gives me more play space. So I'm all I'm all about that. I, I think I like this. Th this looks about right. This this looks about right here. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait a minute. The mouse actually does it something? The mouse does anything? Oh my god, it does! Oh, oh, oh my god, oh my fuck. Oh my fuck. It almost looks like something now. It, it almost looks like graphics now. Uh, but at the same time, I don't think I'm seeing anything helpful there. Uh... I think I'm zoomed out so hard I, I can't even tell what I'm looking at. That is interesting that it can even do that. If you zoom out really far, it kind of... huh. But I, I can't really tell like what I'm doing. You know, like when I zoom out that hard, I, I can't tell what I'm doing. <laughs> also, I've lost sight of my dwarves. Where, where the hell are my dwarves? Where's, where's my little wagon and everything? I, I Oh my god, I'm lost. I don't know what I'm... Okay, here we, here we are. Here's, here's my, my, my dwarves. Uh, let, me, let me see if I, can, if I can zoom in and find them. There we go. There we go. Hmm. Huh. Wait, the black area. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, hold on. Let me let me zoom in right here. Oh, god damn it. That's, that's the wrong way to zoom. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Okay, so here is so I can dig into that. Okay. Well, I was just gonna build like I was just gonna build like uh, walls and floors, like just kind of. Huh. Yeah, I, I noticed how to pause and unpause. I figured best to keep it paused while I'm figuring things out. So, okay, um, I can dig in to the, to the walls here. Okay, uh, 
now how exactly hold on how so how exactly do i dig in to the to the to the mountainside how do i how do i dig into that uh I, i'm looking at my build i'm guessing it would be build right so like what what exactly do i want to do with that hmm let's see what i've got Oh, I can make roads. Huh. I can I can make some dirt roads. I can make bridges. Uh let's see. We got caves, instruments, animal traps. That's uh I think maybe animal traps would be good for food. Because I, I don't think we have any soil around here. But uh let, let's see, hold on. Oh, not building, huh? Oh, designations. Huh. Oh, okay, okay. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't know, uh, I didn't know that dwarves were German. <laughs> Not all German people are dwarves, but are all dwarves German? Hmm. Alright, so I, I guess let's mine then. Uh, this looks like a nice little spot right here to kind of dig into so okay I can mine uh, so I'm just taking a look at things hmm all right let's let's go ahead and mine let's hit the let's hit that D so it's, it's mine so I hit D mine uh, a is M is standard marker standard Marker only. A designating all. Uh, I guess just just designate. Uh, what am I doing here? Oh, oh, I see. So like, I can I can set it to. I I guess they they're mining out like that. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. So I, I guess maybe we want to make some some uh, some rooms. Is that how? Uh, I've played Dungeon Keeper, so I know about digging out rooms. Uh, let's try that. Let's try that. So I've I've designated this area for mining. Uh, so now let's uh, say done, and let's resume. So are my little dwarves? Are they gonna like? Are they gonna go over here now and mine this out? Uh, it doesn't look like my dwarves are really doing anything. It, it looks like they're just chilling around the wagon. Oh no, look, look at that mobile D. Just look at that D just... and that W, they just... Man, just, you gotta watch out for those things, they're savage. Hmm. And let me, let me uh, pause again, because the, the dwarves are not doing anything. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Alright, I guess, yeah, I can move the cursor quicker like that. That's nice. K to look at things. Oh, hey, that's nice. Alright. Uh, what am I looking at? Huh, rock salt. Can't look at those. Alright, well, yeah, I'd like to take a look at those Ds and, and Ws. Like, what, what are those things? A stray donkey. Okay, so that is a, a stray donkey. Uh, what's this? A stray water buffalo. Tame. Okay. Huh. All right. Well, yeah, it's, it, that's very helpful. So I can I can look at things and tell what they are. I I can't. I gotta be honest. I can't even. I have to get real close and like. Maybe it's because the sun's kind of coming in my window here. But like, I can't even see that dark blue text. I can't even see it. Dent, dent, dense hair grass. <laughs> okay. Well. um... I told them to go mine, and they're not doing it, so uh, I don't I don't know what's up with that. 
Yeah, see, I, I uh, designated this spot for mining activities, but it doesn't look like they're having any of that. Yeah, they're, they're just kind of playing with their water buffalo and, and donkeys. Hmm. Uh, okay, how do I make someone a miner? Uh, let me see, is that under, like, job list? Uh, right now, everyone is a peasant. Except for, apparently, this guy who is the expedition leader. Um... Hmm... View job? That doesn't do anything. Uh, M manager. Oh wait, how about set job repeat? That doesn't do anything. Hmm... M manager. Manager is required to coordinate work orders. A new order? Huh. I don't... I can't even... <laughs> uh, so how do I change their job? Like, how, how do I change their job out? I, I, I don't know how to do anything. <laughs> I thought the job list would, would be... Uh, like, I looked at that before and I couldn't really see what I could do with that. Uh, let me take a look at my status. Seven dwarves. Yeah, they're just all peasants. I have no idea what to do with this. Hmm. Let's see, can I set tasks? No buildings nearby. Hmm. Uh, let's see, we got a job list. Hmm. Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! <laughs> oh god! Oh god! Yeah, yeah. I think I think I'm fucked. I I think here's what I think. Uh, I think maybe I think maybe I'm in over my head. I think I might have to like. I think I may just have to do a little bit of research in order to actually play this game. Which, it, it's funny, I play so many convoluted, like... I play so many convoluted old DOS games that, uh, you know, you have to constantly look in the manual and the clue book and all that, and... I, I don't know, like, I've never had this much problem, just sort of, uh... And considering this game was made, you know, like, very modern, I think this game, like, it's a game that was made purposefully to be obtuse. I gotta say, I'm, I'm not feeling that. I'm, I'm really not. <laughs> yeah, a restart would probably be a good idea. It probably would. Um, let's see, abandon the fortress to ruin? I'm guessing that would be the, uh, the action I want to take. Uh, yes, let's quit. Let's try that over again. <laughs> well, I don't doubt that it's hard and deep, and, you know, I, I have to be honest, I usually have a pretty good patience for this kind of game, but I've really never played a game that was this obtuse, you know? And, and really, it seems to be purposefully obtuse, and that's... Uh, I, I don't know, I can't really get behind that, you know? It's like a lot of the, um, you know, a lot of old games, um, like, that would have actually been made, like, you know, in the 80s, for instance, with graphics like this, uh, a lot of those games, it was by necessity, you know, and they, they tried really hard to make the game as accessible as it could be for what it was, you know? And usually, if you just tinker around, you can figure things out. Uh, this game seems to be made uh, as a love letter to that sort of thing, but instead, they, they're just purposefully making it obtuse, and that, again, I can't really get behind that. 
Uh, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try because I am very intrigued by what this game has to offer. I'll say that right now. So let's create a new world. Man, I don't think, uh, you know, I, I gotta say, I think maybe people, like, I might just offend people who are looking for this game if I stream it under that. I, I feel like I need some practice before I before I get into that, but but you know what? Sure, sure. Uh, let me change the title here. I, I totally forgot, because see, I, I, I looked for Dwarf Fortress under the playing list, and I was like, hmm, I don't see it. But oh yeah, then I forgot. It's it's got a bullshit subtitle. Um All right, there we go. There we go. <laughs> so, okay, I'm I'm restarting and maybe I should maybe I should go with some easier settings, right? Uh so maybe let's go for some easy settings. How about uh mineral occurrences? Hmm everywhere let's let's make minerals everywhere uh let's keep savagery medium because i don't like things to be too easy but i, I don't want them to be uh I, I guess i don't like things to be too easy even in a game like this hmm how many distinct places can exist after world generation i i guess medium because i don't really know what that does Let's go for a medium world. Okay then. Um, so I, I guess I just put mineral occurrences a little bit higher. Uh, let's do it. All right, and I suppose time is advancing now. Huh. It's the age of myth. I, I guess let time advance a little while. I love it how this is like my computer is 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 actually feeling the the burn of, of all these calculations going on. Uh, I guess let's let's stop it there. Um, there we go took a few uh, tries to stop it. <laughs> okay, I guess let's go ahead and use the world as it currently exists. Alright, so this is the world that we have to work with. I'll try to pick a better spot this time. So let's accept. Alright, it's doing things. My computer is just dying right now. Um, again, I can't believe it. Oh. Yeah, it gave me a little bit of the loading. Okay, so we're good now. So we've got a whole new world, Region 3. Let's do it. Um, Dwarf Fortress, uh, which I'm guessing Dwarf Fortress is the mode that I want to play Dwarf Fortress on. Okay, well, I will, I will try to make note of that, um... Okay, so I, I'm picking a spot to embark from now. Uh, so where do I want to embark from? Oh dear God! Like I, oh, it's, it's worse. It's worse than the Oregon Trail. Got to pick what to bring. <laughs> okay, so I'm looking for an area to settle. I guess. Uh, what would be a good area? 
Um, I assume that I want to have food available to me. I also assume that I want to, to be able to mine, like, th there should be some, uh, some hills or, or something, I, I don't know. Hmm. Let's take a look at this. Uh, elevation, uh, cliff indicator. So I guess we want to dig into the cliff sides, right? So we'd want to have a, a cliff near where we, uh, where we settle down at. I think these are roads, maybe. I don't know. Roads or rivers. It could be either one. So let's see. There's shallow clay, very deep soil, uh, shallow metals, deep metals, and flux stone layers. Okay, okay. Well, I guess food's not the issue. Um, so I, I guess what am I looking for then? Apparently, I don't want to, like, the game keeps warning, like, you, know, you don't want to be near an aquifer, uh, or an aquifer, uh, but, uh, hmm, like, I'm, I'm looking at all the little, uh, things here, so I want wood, I want access to wood, so, uh, let's see, well, we've got lots of grasslands, uh, savannas, freshwater marsh. I'm guessing we don't want to embark in the ocean. <laughs> hmm. Uh, what is, what is even this? It's, it's the ocean. Okay, that's the ocean. Uh, Got shrublands, temperate shrublands, flickering dunes, curled hills. God damn. Oh, a forest. So a temperate conifer forest. Okay, so the, these are forests right here. Uh, I guess we want to stay away from the aquifer. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of aquifers around. Hmm. It seems like all of the forests have aquifers. Uh, hmm. I guess let's just kind of settle down near a forest, but not in it. So how about like right here? It's got little soil, shallow metals, and uh, deep metals. And it seems to be right next to a little bit of forest. Yeah, it's, it's like right next to some forest, I think. Oh wait, this this right here, this is a forest. It's got soil, shallow metals, deep metal. Okay, how about right in here? I think right in here is a good spot. Good enough spot. Hmm. Okay, let's embark. Wait, I, I didn't see an aqua... F I, I don't... Okay, let's try right here. Embark. I, I don't see it. I don't see it, man. But apparently there's an aquifer there. Like, apparently there's an aquifer there, even though I don't see it. it it's telling me that there is an aquifer, but I don't I don't see one. Uh, so I guess uh, let me try again. Let me let me try this again. Hmm. Can't settle in the mountains. Uh, F one, F two for biomes. Okay, well that makes something flash on local. Uh Huh. Okay. I I don't know. <laughs> I, 
I think this is a good enough spot right here. Yeah, there's lots of mountains. Apparently there's lots of mountains right next to it, so... Hmm. Oh, oh right, yeah, I forgot about the, the UMKH. Uh... Oh, oh wait, wrong button. <laughs> okay, well, I guess let's, uh... No, no, not that one. Uh, there we go. Hmm. I guess right around here would be okay. How about right, right in there? Right in there. I don't know. There's a lot of things around this location. Embark. Okay, we're good. No, no warnings. Um. So, do I want to just say play now, or do I want to prepare for the journey carefully? I'm guessing I want to. I'm guessing. Uh, I could. I could bust out the Discord. I could, but uh, I. I don't know. I'm trying to figure this out as much as I can. Uh, you know, I think maybe I. I uh, yeah. Let, let's prepare. So okay. Yeah. Everyone's a peasant. So um. Hmm. So I can. Add or reduce. What what does that mean? Doesn't do anything. Uh, I can view. I can customize. Uh, I can name a group. Hmm. I guess I want to customize them. Oh. Customize profession name. Wait. Oh. Okay. Hold on. Uh. How do I how do I change their their profession? Um, like, I, I don't know how to do this, how I do anything. <clears throat> hmm. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Well, okay, so I went to the right here, and it looks like all of their jobs are not, uh, are not something. Huh. Oh, oh, wait, 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 so, like, if I plus, oh, I see. So, I guess everyone has, like, uh, th that's their number of, of skill points that I can set. Okay, so like that's a number of skill points. Huh. So he's a proficient miner now. Uh but it still says he's a peasant. Yeah, he's a, he's a proficient miner, but it it still says he's a peasant. Um and also I guess do I want to give him some more points in something? Hmm. Oh god damn, there's so many jobs. There are so many. Oh my fuck. Th there's so goddamn many jobs. Like I don't even know where to begin. Um I, I guess I I want him to be a miner. Hmm. Okay, well, he's just a miner right now. Uh, let's take a look at this guy. So how about... Oh, hold on. How about let's give him some points in woodcutting. So the other guy is going to be proficient woodcutter. Hmm. Uh, this guy right here... So, uh, okay, do I want a mason? A craft guy, so it's like, well, I don't know, maybe make him a, uh, a proficient mason. Uh, 
Oh man. Hmm. Oh god, there's so many, so many professions. There's so many professions. Oh wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, maybe I, uh, I misinterpreted. How about like a wood crafter? So he's he's a wood crafter and a stone crafter. Okay, so he is a wood crafter and stone crafter. Uh, but not a metal crafter. And, okay, so like this guy. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, okay, well, how about the other guy here, the other guy, uh, he can be a, a carpenter and a mason. So there you go, carpenter, mason, and then this other guy is a, a wood and stone crafter. Oh, I, I guess that's not so important then. Uh, okay, so like crafting, not so important, just mason and carpenter. Uh, so, okay, um, we've got building designer, I don't know if that's important or not, cook, farmer, brewer, okay, okay, well, let's see, uh, we got a bowyer, where's brewer, where's cook, where's any of that, again, my eyes, oh, my eyes, <laughs> okay, let's go for a, a cook, they can be a cook and a brewer. All right, so they they are a cook and brewer. Uh, this guy is the the mason carpenter. Uh, we got a woodcutter. We have a miner, and uh, we got some more people here. So then, how about a farmer? Where where's farming in here? Hmm. Well, I'm doing like a different one. Oh, make them separate. Well, oh god. Okay, now I have to look look through the list of everything. Okay, wait. Hold hold on, hold on. So this this guy is a mason carpenter. We keep that. This guy, who who is this guy? This guy is the brewer cook. So okay, they'll just be a brewer. And then the other guy will just be a cook. All right, and then oh, what am I? How am I sorting this? That was a mason. Uh, okay. So farming, where where the hell is that? Hmm. I don't see farming anywhere in here. Again, unless my eyes are just going over it. Uh, unless, like, a grower? Um, I don't know, is there is there some kind of... <laughs> is there some sort of uh, code for farming here? Yeah, this this game. Uh, and hey there, hey there. Yeah, this. I I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, and this hurts my eyes. But hey, I find it quite intriguing, and I'm willing to give it a chance. So okay, let's see. Uh, farming. I'm like, is it a combination of skills that makes someone a a farmer, or? Well, you know, here I'll go ahead and um. I'll, I'll give it a a good combo of skills, okay? So how about how about uh, let's say grower? Yeah, he can be a grower, and uh, what else? What else we got? Uh, an ambusher. <laughs> hmm. And look at that, a fish dissector. A f 
a cheese maker. I, I'm kind of interested in, in having a cheese... Okay, look, I'm kind of interested in having a cheese empire now. But uh, I guess maybe an animal... No, no, animal trainer? Uh, I will go with grower, okay? They can be a, a grower, and I think that's good. And I don't know about this last guy. Uh, this last guy, like, what kind of skills does he want? Um... Hmm. I I guess why not like let him be like a let him have some crafting skills, right? I mean, I I see no reason not to. Like the, the last guy can just have a mishmash of of skills. Even yeah, look, he's a backup miner. Little building, I don't know. The last guy, I'm just like, look, he can do whatever the hell he wants. <laughs> yeah, last guy can do whatever he wants. So everyone is still a peasant. Um, is there some way to change their job title? Um, like, okay, is there is there some way to like have I done my due diligence, or is there some way to change the title of the like? Because right now everyone it says they're still a peasant even though they have skills. Uh, so, like, is that just gonna... Is that just going to, like, change through the course of gameplay? Or is that something that I, um... Like, like I don't know. Is, is it something that'll change over the course of gameplay? Or is it something that I have to set right here, right now? Okay, so tab for items, all right. Well, let me, uh... This guy right here is the miner, so I guess it's very important for him to have a pick. Oh, oh, wait, also, hold on, hold on, before I do that, before I do that, let me, oh, God, uh, how do I go back to my, okay, before I do that, how about, what I'd like to do is I would like to have the, the woodcutter and the, the miner, I'd like them to be cross-trained, as it were, I, I'd like for them to be able to woodcut or mine, both of them, so they're just gatherers in general. Uh, so, items. Okay, so... It says we've got, uh, copper picks to 44. Copper pick- copper battle axes to 68. So... <laughs> so, okay, like... Is the number in brackets, is that how many we have on us right now? Or is the number like 44, 68, is, is that how many we have right now? Hmm. Huh. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, I see. And thank you, thank you for that, uh... Spots. So uh, that's the price of the item. Uh, no, wait, wait, wait. Why? Why do I want to delete all of my my items here before before I go doing that? Um, why would I want to delete all the items from my list here? Because it seems like a lot of these. It, it seems like a lot of these are are useful. Like, I, I just deleted my my copper picks. I mean, don't I want those? Yeah, like, don't I want my copper picks? I, I would assume I want those copper picks. Hmm. And let's see, I'm guessing these are things I can take with me. Oh, wow. I, I can take all kinds of animals with me. <laughs> huh. Okay, well, yeah, all right, fine. Let's uh, let's do it. Let's just clear everything out. All right, let, let us clear everything out, and let's start fresh. So, how the fuck do I even add things to my inventory? Uh, it looks like all, all of that is just animals. Um, hmm. Okay, so, man, all the, like, everyone just coming out of the woodworks with the, the suggestions and the ideas and the help, and I like it. Um, 
maybe my head won't explode just yet. So, uh, okay, let's see. Uh, N to put new items on the list. All right. Uh, N is for new. Well, doesn't seem to be doing anything. Um, N isn't... Oh, N. Ah, ah, here we go. I, I was on the wrong thing. So, all right, we got, what, meat, fish, eggs. So these are all my items I suppose I could get. Ah, I get it. I have 1,137 points remaining. Okay, okay. And, and hey there, goddamn, everybody's just showing up. That's great. Um, I, I hope you all are enjoying the eye strain as much as I am. Uh, so, hmm. Okay, so what do I want? Like, so I'm fresh, I'm new. I, I, uh, I'm the village idiot. I don't know what I'm doing. So what do I want to bring on this, uh, dwarf mining adventure? Hmm. So, let's see. It looks like I can bring some raw materials. Uh, so let's see. Where are the picks at? Hmm. And I can type away, type in parts of the name to... Okay, so, like, if I type in pick... Digging implements. Okay, all right, that's nice. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I want some pickaxes, so let's take... Uh, I've got two people capable of mining, so I, I'll take two copper picks. So, copper pick. And now I just, like, hit plus... Okay. I got it. I got you. So copper picks. We we've got copper picks. Uh, copper axe. Yes, I want an axe. So let's go over to copper. Wait, battle axes. Uh, I don't think. I don't think battle axes is what I want. Wait, toys. Th there's toy axes. Like, why? Why would you want a toy axe? So we have training weapons. Um, wait, maybe it's uh, like just an axe, like just a X, maybe. Hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. I, I guess I want a battle axe. Um, I, I wasn't thinking. So I guess let's get some copper battle axes. So. Uh, let's go ahead and copper battle axe and add one more of those. So basically, I have two axes, two picks, because I have two miners and yeah, I have two people that can either be miners or woodcutters. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Man, I, I feel like everyone knows more than I do here. That's great. I uh, I think I'm in good hands. So okay. Uh, we got our picks, we have our battle axes, so, okay, picks and battle axes, uh, let me look back at the chat here. Uh, some, some seeds, okay, so let's, let's go for, yeah, let, let's go, well, let me look at seeds in general. What, what have we got for seeds? Uh, I've got pigtail seeds, cave wheat seeds, and sweet pod seeds. Hmm. Well, I've only got three types of seeds here. Uh, maybe I wonder, like, if I if I were to type it like, th huh? It's a plant. It's a plant, not a seed. That's interesting. That's that's uh. So they're called plump helmet spawn. Um, I'm guessing that's what I want. So how about let's go for it. So we'll get plump helmet spawn. It was listed under seeds, so I'm guessing that's the seeds. Uh, and I'll go ahead and get like... Okay, like, uh, let, let's, let's load up on it. So let's, let's, let's get like 50 of them. So we've got seeds, we've got copper picks, battle axes. Hmm. <laughs> ah, okay, so that's where my food will be coming from. Gotcha. So, hmm. 
is there anything, I guess, is there anything else I might want here? Uh, I've got the picks and the axes. I've got the, uh, the seeds. Hmm. Beer, ale, etc. Okay, well, let's, let's add some more things then. So, uh, hmm. Drinks. So let's go ahead and get some dwarven beer. Huh. <laughs> All right. Well, let's um yeah, so we got the I'll adjust the numbers later, but um <clears throat> how about the beer, the uh some thread. Okay. So let's see what do we got? We got cloth, plant, silk, yarn. Hmm. Okay, well, let me uh, see, like, what what do we got for thread? So, this seems to be fairly cheap. Pigtail thread. So we'll get some pigtail thread, and we'll get some, uh, some cloth, some pigtail cloth. And I guess we'll just add, like, I don't know, about five of those. So, okay, five thread and cloth. Beer, I guess around 20. Hmm. <laughs> oh man, all the conflicting reports. Oh no. Uh like I you know, like as a as a first time player here, um like I I wanna bring as many things that I can just as a contingency for things going wrong. Because assume that I'm going to be playing basically assume I'm gonna be playing the game badly. So, anything I might possibly need. Uh, so again, two picks, two axes, got 50 seeds, 20 beer, uh, five threads, not that many. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Alright, let, let's see. Uh, so, maybe, do I want more beer? I don't really know what the beer does for them. Um, like I'll, I'll add a little bit more, like, uh, I don't know, 50, it's it's pretty cheap. Uh, I don't really know what the beer does for the dwarves. Um, huh. Dogs, now, are, are, are they going to eat the dogs, or, or is there another reason to have them? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> okay, well let's let's go ahead and back to our to our item list because we have a lot more points remaining. So I mean, I might as well, right? Hmm. Ah, okay. See, I guess my my mind went to a different place with that. I um, I, I don't know. I guess I assume if you're gonna keep an animal around, you're probably gonna eat it. That's what I assume. <laughs> So, uh, so you know that I don't, I don't have pets, uh, and let's go ahead and let's, let's find some, some dog. Huh, naked mole dogs. Dog leather, dog leather high boots. I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> Wait, is there dog meat? Yes, there is, dog sweetbread, you monsters. Yeah, look, look at that, prepared dog heart. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see. I'm not really seeing unless I'm in the wrong item list. Am I am I in the wrong am I in the wrong item list here? Cuz I I see over here like on this side there's a there, there's a dog. So one dog female one dog male so let's bring let's bring four female dogs one male dog hmm wait wait okay so now i gotta know i i have to know um i, I see cats on the like okay look i see cats on the list here so now if i go over to items is is there is wait hold on is is there is there cat yes there is there's there's cat meat okay i now my head is spinning and i kind of got some ideas going on and i'm thinking 
okay, wouldn't it be just wouldn't it just be amazing and hilarious if um can we farm cats? Can I can I make a cat farm? That's all I want to know. Can I make a cat farm? Can I like just just raise the 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 fluffiest plumpest cats you can possibly find and that will be our food source <laughs> i kind of want to yes yes okay okay all right so with that in mind it might be very impractical it might not be the right thing to do but um i'm gonna get two male cats and i'm gonna get uh i'm gonna get eight female cats and we are going to be cat farmers okay we we are going to be cat farmers here in this dwarf fortress <laughs> all right as soon as i can as soon as i even figure out how to do it i want to make a just a cat ranch all right so okay uh we got 443 points left i've got my basic essentials the picks and the axes uh got the pigtail thread and cloth got lots of beer Again, I don't know what it's for, but we've got it. Um, hmm. <laughs> oh, man. Like, like anyone who's been in here, you know how I play these types of games. You, you know how I play them. Um, like, I'm the one that, like, you know, I play Stellaris. I, you know, I have a, a race of, uh, you know, fanatic, xenophobic, slavering tentacle aliens, and that's how I play the game, you know? Um, like yeah it's how i play these things so yeah cat farming dwarves let's do it um i am of course uh you know i might border into evil sometimes but i consider myself more chaotic neutral really um so let's see yeah we we want to spend all those points so what else do we got i got plenty of animals to eat um you know all the dogs and cats you could want to eat and um I, I don't know what else we got ammo i i don't know that i need that Oh, oh, wait, wait, maybe we should bring some food. I, you know, I'm just thinking, maybe we should bring a little bit of food along on our journey. Just, you know, so we don't starve right away. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, I'll, I'll have to boot up, uh, I'll have to boot up Stellaris again sometime. That's, I mean, like, you know how I play these games, you know, like I, like when I was playing Starflight 2. And I just, like, I mean, I find primitive planets and I just start unloading on them with my lasers and, and uh, just pillaging and, and looting their planet, you know, for everything it's worth. That's how I play games. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, oh, an anvil. Anvil and copper blocks. Okay, we're, we're on to something here. Uh, we're on to something. So let's go ahead and get an iron anvil. One of those. And let's get some copper blocks. Or uh, copper, copper, we got copper bolts, copper bars. Yeah, let's go for copper bars. I don't know, let's, let's take a, a couple of those with us just, just to be safe. Also, I don't think anyone can actually do like metal crafting right now. <laughs> I don't think anyone can smith. I'll uh, I'll tweak their skills a little bit. I'll I'll add some skills onto all of them before we lift off here. Man, I just and uh, yeah, like well, here's the thing. I'm not really the best. Like so far, like to to that Dutch guy, um, like I, I I'm not really the best at Stellaris. Like every time I um I only do single player so far. And, uh, like, every single time I play, my empire inevitably buckles under its own weight. Because, like, my slaving tentacle aliens, you know, they, they enslave everything. And at a certain point, the empire just grows. And, like, it, you know, the slaves start rebelling. Uh, you have abolitionists. And eventually, like, you know, my evil slave-mongering ways, it just buckles under itself, you know? Hmm. Okay, we can melt ores later. So, uh, yeah, I just, uh, I'm thinking about food here. I just want to bring some food along. So how about some prepared food? Some, uh, what do we got? Got cat meat. Uh, prepared cat intestines. That sounds good. So let's, let's bring some prepared cat intestines along. That's, hey, look, this is what these dwarves eat, okay? I can't help it if that is their cultural food, all right? Um, 
Hmm. <laughs> and yeah, that's uh, I, that's kind of how I go in Stellaris, uh, Dutch guy. Like uh, like my tentacle aliens, they were like, uh, well, they were xenophobic so that they could enslave aliens, and um, they were collectivists, like collectivists, xenophobic, conformists in their little uh, trait thing. Uh, but again, still lots of dissent even then. Hmm. <laughs> no, the, the tentacle aliens are the masters, of course. Uh, I think I enslaved like a bunch of, uh, I don't know, some some furry aliens. I forget what they were, but that's uh, it was a, it was a fun time. I'll have to play Stellaris again one of these days. So let's see. Um, I'm just thinking what else I could possibly bring. I, I don't know. And oh, let's let's up the copper bar count to twenty. Oh, we're getting low on points now. So I guess let's just go ahead and, uh, I don't know, let's kind of flesh things out here. So I'll bring a little bit more cloth and thread just, just to have it. Uh, some more food just to have it, I guess. And there, that's we're good. So let's go back to our dwarves. And I just want to flesh things out. Hmm. Ah, nice. Nice. Well, I'm. We're all cat meat, okay? Like, I, these dwarves are humble cat ranchers, all right? Uh, you know these these peasant folk. They're they're just humble cat herders. So, all right. Let's see. We. Uh, I guess we're good. I guess we are good. Well, I should have, but I, I don't know. I'm I'm trying to stick to a theme here. Uh, I guess yeah. We have all the basics down. So I think we're ready to embark. I think I think we're good to like we're good to lift off, you know. We're 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 good to uh journey forward. Are, someone like please stop me now before I do something stupid. Um but I think I'm ready to embark. I, I still don't know how to play the game, but at least now I know how to start the game. So uh I'm just going to just going to mash that E key just slowly going for that button just just gonna press it down uh i've got one point left but i think i'm okay oh oh i can save it oh oh right uh l let's save that um uh i don't know let's call it cat herders cuz that's what these that's what these dwarves are okay so yeah there we go That'll make things easier. That will definitely make it easier to to start the game again, you know, later on. Okay. Let's do it. Let's embark. So, yeah. A fresh new world. Uh, I hit the enter key and now my... Uh, yeah, now, now the window has to not respond. <laughs> Here we go. So we've already been through this. You know, we've journeyed away from the mountain homes and into the forbidding wilderness beyond. Uh, hmm, it's a little bit different this time, but nonetheless, let's do it. So we're paused. Uh, here are my little, my little dwarf folk. Uh, now wait, if I hit status? Okay, look at that. So, so I've got three miners, one woodcutter. So three miners, one woodcutter, three farmers. And nothing else. Okay, good enough. D to dig the trees, I, I love it. Uh, well, hold on, let me use some of the knowledge that I acquired from the last uh, failed session. Also, I love how this game has music. I, I love how it has music. <laughs> okay, uh, we got red sand. Now, oh, I remember, I remember something here. Um, well, okay, like, where are the trees? Like, I'm, it's like, show me a tree, please. Please show me a tree. Well, that is a cherry tree sapling. So we got some saplings, that's nice. Hmm, now what, what is this right here? This is open space. Dense meadow grass downward. 
What is this? So that's a that's a tree. So okay, that is a tree. Uh, are these all trees? Okay, okay. So like the, these are trees right here. Hmm. To go up and down. Huh. Hold on. Uh, it doesn't really... Wait. <laughs> it, it always throws me off. Um, like, when you say, like, you can use the left and, and, and right, you know, the little, uh, things. I was like, wait, that doesn't do anything. Oh, wait, they want you to hold the shift key. I I keep forgetting uh, this game. It's, it's one of those games. Uh, it's one of those games. So I can, I can kind of do like that. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that beautiful view right there. Look at that beautiful view. Let, let me just kind of get an idea of what I'm looking at here. I have no idea what I'm even looking at. I, I don't even know. Um, yeah, hey, hey, Soto. Yeah, I know, my eyes are, are hurting too. Uh, my eyes are like, they're already getting bloodshot. <laughs> uh, so, okay, okay, hold on. Now, I know, here's what I know I can do. I know that I can bring my mouse onto the screen, and I can kind of do like that, and I can sort of zoom out to see what's around me. And so, okay, if I look around, I don't see any hills or anything like that. Uh, this is all open space. I'm not seeing any. I, look, uh, the graphics, you know, I've, I've actually... I have actually played games like... I've played, you know, games that use uh, text symbols. I, I used to... I played some of those back in the very early 90s. But um, it's been a long time since I played that. I, I gotta be honest, I'm more of a fan of just like a text-based adventure game. I, I would actually just rather play a text-based adventure game than uh, something with all these symbols just making my eyes hurt. But... Uh, but you know, they're going for an aesthetic, and I can appreciate that. Where the hell are my dwarves? I, I need to find my dwarves. Oh, oh, wait, hold on, I can do the shift. Here they are, here they are, here's the dwarves. So, let me just kinda zoom back in here. Let's just zoom it back. Bring it. There we go. There we go. There we go. I'll, uh, I'll have to, you know, I will have to look at the, the tile set sometime. <laughs> I really will. So, okay, uh, F1. What does F1 do? Oh, oh, I see. It, like, wait. Okay, F1, like, brings it back to the wagon. Gotcha. Okay then, yeah, let's dig some trees. I don't even know what a tree looks like, but let's do it. Well, okay, I do know what a tree looks like. It looks like that. Uh, that is a, a cherry tree trunk. So let's go ahead and dig it. So let's go to D for destination, uh, designations. And uh, okay, look, I can, I can chop down trees. So let's do it, right? Uh, let's let's chop down trees. T. Chop down trees. T. Uh. Hmm. It's not really doing anything. Not really doing anything. Oh wait, wait, hold on. I I uh, have to hit designate. Ah, I see. So I I just did that. I I hit designate right over here. So I said to chop down tree. Hmm. Wait, that's that's the top of the tree. Oh, oh, I I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay. So that's the top of the tree, and then I have to. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> and yeah, I hear you, Soto. I mean, like. I look. I missed the '80s, but um, you know, in the early '90s, I was playing PC games and all that. And um, you know, even for me, and I played a lot of text-based adventure games. I don't know, like uh, this just—it hurts my eyes. It's not like I'm I'm too young to appreciate it. It's just it always hurt my eyes. 
Okay, so I've designated the the circle. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut down some of the trees closer to to our wagon. So okay, I, I hit the enter key, and uh, we we're good. We're good. So um, so okay. Like if I now go, if I if I resume the game, is someone gonna go over there and chop the tree down? I don't really see them doing anything. Yeah, I, d I don't really see them, like, they're not really going over there and, and chopping the tree. It's an oak trunk. Hmm. Patch of trees, okay. Well, let, let's try that. Let's, um... Yeah, let's go ahead and do destinations. And let's go ahead and... T, chop down trees, and so okay, if that's like the top of the tree, then let's enter here. So we want to chop down all of this, so we want to, to designate all of that, right? Hmm. So is it is it designated now, or... I guess we're, we're good? Uh, resume. Uh, I don't really see any of the dwarves going out to do that. <laughs> God damn it. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what the... Like, I don't even know what the top of the tree is. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me look at this, okay? So, I, I this is the trunk. So, yeah, this is the cherry tree trunk. Okay, this, this is the trunk of the tree. Hmm. Okay, uh, so let's try some more trees around here then. So how about like this one right here? This is right next to our... This is right next to our wagon. So, oh, okay, like T, chop tree. Um, designate. <laughs> okay, hold on. Chop tree right here. De designate that. So I just, I just designated that so it's highlighted now. So we're good, right? So if I hit space... Um, yeah, no, none of the dwarves are really like... They're not really going over there, you know? Hmm. Huh. Well, it, like, okay, if I look here with my little uh, examination tool... So that right there is a pecan tree trunk that it, that is a tree right there that's the trunk of the tree uh so yeah that, that is the trunk of the tree hmm okay okay we we got we got things here so uh v over the yellow dwarf so oh, okay view units so he's a carpenter right now uh, what do we got here? So he's a brewer, he's a planter, he's a carpenter. Uh, this guy, expeditioner, he's a miner. Uh, well, the miners, both of the miners, um... The miners are also woodcutters, so, like, they're the same person. They have the same skill set, basically. Um... Hmm. Okay, okay, so let's see. How about B? Well, right now he's got no job. Hmm. I don't know. He, they're just listed as no job right now. Well, I guess here's the thing. I when I started, I made it so that my miners and woodcutters are the same people. Like, they they both have the same skill set. <laughs> oh god, have, have my cats died already? Like, are the, are the dogs killing the cats? Okay, let, let's try that again. Um, let's view V. So this guy's a carpenter. Uh, that guy's a brewer, he's a planter. Expeditioner. 
<laughs> oh, look at that. He's a dabbling liar. I like that. Hmm. Uh, no, I, I've not unpaused the game yet. I, I've unpaused it a little bit whenever I set, like, a, a designation. They just don't seem to do anything. Uh, and the- no, I- I just installed this damn thing. I don't have any sort of, uh, packs or anything like that. Um, I'm just- I'm just trying the game out, I guess, the way it was intended. Um, I'm thinking I might need that pack, though, next time. Uh, you know, next time around, I might need that. <laughs> okay, so C, B, and M show- okay. Oh, okay, so let, let me, let me, uh, let me just do some looking here. Uh, so what do we got? So, V, and let's look at, uh, well, let's look at the miner, because again, the miners are the ones that also have the woodcutting skill set. So we got B and, uh, C, that's combat, and M, M, miscellaneous, well, what is that, what, what is miscellaneous? No job. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I, I guess the pack might just be the way I have to go. Uh. Well, it's, I don't know, I'm, like, I've played so many old games, I've played, here's the thing, this is not an old game, it's a new game made purposefully obtuse. I think that might be the problem, um, because I've played so many confusing DOS-era games, um, you know, that are little more than text, and I, I've never had this much of a problem with just figuring out how to do things. So, okay, how about... Let me, let me see, maybe I'm not designating things right. So, let me go to designations, and I'm gonna do T, chop down tree. And let, let's try that again. So, I can make a wider area, right? Uh, which is what, the U, M, H, you know, all those keys, right? Uh, maybe not in this case. Does, doesn't seem like it in this case. Uh, so let's go to chop down trees. Hmm. Yeah, it is. It's a it's a wall of a learning curve. I'll give it that. Hmm. It B and maybe it's P for pref. Okay, I'll check that. And yeah, you know, I will say this. Okay. Um, I've always been a fan of playing the game the way the developer intended it to be played, even if it personally is like, you know, kind of pisses me off. Uh, that's always been how I play games. So, while I might need that pack. I want to try to figure things out first, the way, you know, all natural, the way, the way the developer intended. So, um, okay, hold on, hold on, let me, let me get into a zen here, I'm um, just pushing buttons, so, it's V, and let's check preferences on the miner, because again, the miners are also the woodcutters, so, P, so we have, uh, L is for labor, E for work animal, <clears throat> O is occupation, they have a squad, hmm, huh, yeah, I, I do have to say that I am, I am interested in learning, okay, I am very interested in, in learning what this game has to offer, I'm all about that, I, I mean, I think, okay, from what I've seen so far, this seems like my kind of game. I love simulation games. I, I love games where you, you can really get into it. It's just that learning curve. Um, hmm. Okay, so let's see. All right, all right, hold on. Let me, let me, uh, oh man, the text. It's been a while since I've had text go by this fast. So I'm just, I'm looking at the preferences now. And, like, so if I hit L for labor, okay, uh, mining, woodworking, stoneworking, so it seems like his preference is for just mining. Um, okay, well, how about, how about this? Maybe I'm doing it wrong. 
So let's go to designations. Let's go to T. Hold on. T. T. Yeah, T. Chop down trees. And now let's hit the enter key. Hmm. So, yeah, these little trees here, they're, they're like kind of highlighted, right? Yeah, I see how I'm highlighting them now. I'm assuming that means they are designated for chopping down. <laughs> oh man, I was so close, huh? Well, uh, give me a second then. Give me a second. So, okay, I'm on to a right path. Okay, okay. Uh, let's, let's try that again. So, oh god, let's, uh, V. And let's look at this guy. So, uh, toggle. Oh, there, I see now. I see. Ah, uh, I get it. You use, you use the plus and minus keys. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Interesting. Wait, hold on, hold on. I, I uh, went the wrong way there. Wood cutting. Okay, wood cutting on. Wood cutting is on now. So, uh, yeah, like I've, I've set that guy to wood cutting. So, okay, he's he's now a woodcutter. Hmm. So, yeah, V. So, okay, I get it now. V to view. P, you know, then you go to the guy. P and then L and then I get it now. I, I understand. I understand. Okay. <laughs> I understand. Okay. Uh, so let's see if this actually works now. Hmm. So, okay, okay. Uh, let's resume our game and let's see what happens. Oh, hey, look, look, look at that. Look, look at that. He's, he's chopping down the trees. Oh, 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 wow. There's actually a graphic for that. Hold on, hold on. Uh, th this is actually interesting me now. So, um. So if I mouse over this. Oak logs. Oak logs. Nice. Okay, so we've got a bunch of oak logs now. And you know what? I gotta say, I really like that graphic. It, Like, I can actually tell what they're trying to go for. Like, okay, so the, the circle is the, the stump, right? So, so yeah, um, like when they chop the tree down, and then you get like that little triangle or that little, um, you know, I don't know thing of uh, of yellow blocks that is that is the fallen tree I get it now I understand I understand okay so let's just kind of let them do their thing oh man oh man look look at that he's gonna yeah he's just gonna go off in the woods and hey oh yeah man he's yeah he's just gonna chop everything yeah he's chopping everything down uh, so hey, I know how to do things now. Awesome. I wonder if the cats, I wonder if the tree could fall and, and, and kill the cats. <laughs> okay, so I've got a bunch of fallen trees now. What do? Um, yeah, I got a bunch of these fallen trees, so what do I do with that now? Um, I'm happy. I'm really happy and excited that, hey, I've figured out how to chop down trees. What do I do with them now? Uh, what do I do with my my trees so um as far as i can see there's no mountains or anything nearby like i i looked on the the you know i zoomed out and i i didn't really see any mountains or anything like that so um i guess do i how do i build a house or do i even need to do that are they good living outdoors i don't know i don't know the habitat of the dwarf hmm Okay, a stockpile. Oh, wait, there's a stockpile button. So, okay, I've, I have a stockpile button. Uh, we've got reserved barrels. We have no reserved barrels. No reserved bins. Hmm. Uh, dig a hole in the ground. <laughs> okay, well, let me figure out how to do that. So, okay, let's, um... So, okay, we want to dig, so, designations, uh, what do we got? We can carve fortifications, we can carve track, 
Mm. Uh, do we want to mine? Uh, is it D? Mine. I'm, I'm guessing it's mine. I'm, I'm gonna mine. That's how I'm gonna do it. Okay. So, designate. Oh, hold on. Let me uh, let me designate the mine to be like right here. And uh, do okay. So I've just designated a mine. Uh, let's go ahead and zoom. Uh, wait, hold on. Resume. Okay, no one is really going for it just yet. Hmm. Oh wait, hold on, so channel is for digging a hole in the ground. Mine for digging in a wall. Okay, that's uh, that's not so obvious, but uh, I hear you. I hear you. Um, let's try that again. Oh, oh god. <laughs> okay, so I need up and down stairs. Uh, okay. Oh man. Huh. Nah, I don't mind. Look, I don't mind the sub menus. I really don't. I don't. I don't mind that. Um, I, I'm okay with doing things the hard way. Uh, so okay, up and down stairs. I need up and down stairs. Uh, so let's go ahead and make some some downstairs. Let's J downstair. So uh, okay, we're gonna make a downstair, and we're gonna designate it right here. I guess right right there. That's that's my downstairs. So now I need someone that can actually like do it. So so now let's go to V. And okay, yeah, we're at V. And let's let's enable mining. Oh look, he's yeah. Let's do woodworking, uh, wood cutting for him. And let's designate someone else for for mining. So let's go V. Uh, it is a stray horse. Huh, a stray horse. This animal can't work. Ready for slaughter though. Uh, that's nice. Okay, so this guy right here, he's he's good for mining. Oh wait, now what's all this? Hmm. Huh. Three by three. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Okay. Um. Well, I just want to see what happens here first. Uh, are they gonna? Are they gonna do what I want them to do? Are they gonna? Okay, so he just made a stairway going down, right? If I look at it, that is a shale downward stairway. Okay. So, up and down. So that's a... Uh, oh, oh, I get it. I get it. So I'm looking at the same thing here. Like, this is, um... This is, like, one layer down. So, so, okay, like, I'm, I'm looking at one layer under the ground right now. Um... Okay, I kinda get that. Hmm... So yeah, we're, we're a layer under the ground now. Uh, and I guess now I start, like, making rooms. So... Okay, how about... How about... I go ahead and designate mine. I, I want to, like, carve out this area. I want to I carve all this out. So, uh, okay. That's three by three? It's three by three. I mean, just, like, the whole area around it. So, so what happens when I unpause now? L let me take a look. What happens? Is, is the dwarf gonna, like, come down here and, and start working? Or... They're not doing anything. They're not doing anything at all. 
Uh, okay, so the, the dwarf, like, I, I designated an area to mine, but the dwarf isn't doing anything. Hmm. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Dr drumstick, he's... I think I done fucked up. I think I done fucked up. Okay, so I need to, um... Oh, oh god. <laughs> okay, so I need to make a... a uh, I gotcha, so... Oh wait, what am I looking at? What, what am I looking at here? <laughs> huh? What? What is this? No idea. So okay, let's um, let's make an upstairs. Okay, so um, let's do. Oh god, it's like I'm I'm staring at all the text and I'm I'm trying to think. <laughs> okay, let's um. Designation. Designations. It's like, I'm getting to that point where I look at the text, and it's like it all just, all the text is just like mushing together now. Okay, so let's make a uh, an upstair, and let's designate it right here. So like, there you go, there's an upstairs. Hmm. Huh. Well, I guess it's too late for that now. Um, well, no, I guess it's not too late. Let's let's go ahead and so there we go. That that's all of our up, and so let's make all of this. Yeah, like let's make all of this uh, downstairs. So uh, let's make all that a downstair. Okay, so begin. Start mining. Start mining. So now if I, hold on, if I look down here, right, if I look on the next layer. Okay, I think they did it. I, I think they did it. They, um, yeah, they, they did it. Good. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm trying to figure things out here. So it looks like they pulled it off, okay? So they, yeah, they, they dug... Okay, if I look, so if I look here, they've dug the three by three, you know, going down, and then they've done a on the other side. There's a three by three going up. So we're all good. <laughs> we're all good. So now let's actually start mining, shall we? Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, when when do I get to kill the dwarf? <laughs> Where, where's the boss of the game? <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's make some rooms now. Okay, I don't know how building in this game works, but I've played a lot of Dungeon Keeper in my time, so I know a thing or two about tunneling underground, okay? <laughs> Alright, um... Hmm... Well, I, hey, look, look, I, right now, uh, right now, those stairs go down, and these stairs go up, so they're good, they can go up and down, uh, everything is okay. Uh, so let me go ahead and do some designations, and let's start mining. So I'm gonna mine from here to about here. And let's make a room. Let's make a nice, good, nice, good room right there. And let's make some more. Yeah, why not? Let's start digging. Let's, let's start digging all over the place. So, I want a nice, good room right, right there. So that, that'll just be like some basics, right? So, let's see if they start actually doing what I want them to do. Hmm. <laughs> well, we'll go down further eventually, but we can have a separate, like, we can have a separate mine shaft, you know? We can have more than one mine shaft. So, oh, look, look at that, look at that, look at the dwarves go! Look at the cats following them! Oh, that is great. That is just great. I, I like seeing that. That, it, it actually feels like a video game now. Oh, 
Okay, so let me take a look at what we've got here. Uh, this is red sand cavern floor. So there's lots of red, red sand cavern floors here. Okay. Hmm. So we've we've got the beginnings of our dwarf fortress, if you will. So what do I want to do now? Um, well, let me go back to the top layer. Uh, what's on the top layer? Well, we've still got all those downed trees. Uh, we, we do still have all of that. Hmm. I, I guess I want this to be like a stockpile room, I guess. And if, if this is going to be my stockpile room, then I probably want it to be a little bit larger than it currently is. <laughs> Man, if only there... Yeah, let's get some achievements in here. I, I hate achievements, I, I really do. I mean, it's gotten to that point where there's achievements in everything now. And it's just like, hey, you took five steps, you get an achievement. Oh, hey, it started raining. Nice. I mean, there's even, like, there's even achievements in some tabletop games now. There, there's even, like, in, in pen and paper games, there's, there's achievements now. It's, it's getting ridiculous. So, okay, let's, um, let's go to designations. And I want to clear out a little bit more space over here. I want to make, like, a... I want this to be a proper storeroom, like, where I can, I can store all my crap. So I want it to be big. I want it to be real big. Uh, well, not not like super big, but I mean, I want it to be big enough that I can fit a lot of crap into it. So, about that size. Resume. Come on, I want to see them start mining. Wait, there we go. Look at look at the little, look at the smiley faces go. Man, I love that. I love watching them just do their thing. I wish they were a little bit more automated, but I guess it's okay. Uh, farm plot land stuff. Okay. Okay. Uh, do I want to... Okay, here's the question. Do I want to farm underground or above ground? I'm assuming... I'm assuming above ground, but... Um, I, I don't know. They're, they're dwarves. I don't know how they're... I don't know how they do things. So, uh... I guess I could be building... Oh, oh, hold on. Um, farm plot. Farm plot. Okay, underground. Well then. Hmm. Okay, well, I could make this a farm. Ah, I see. Okay, they're, they're mushrooms. Gotcha. Well, um, I want to use the, that big room as my storage room. Uh... Hmm. Um. Okay, well, yeah, let's... <sighs> hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah, I, I forgot about that, The uh, to make the plot bigger. Um. Hold on, uh, let's see. There we go. And let's see, K and H. There we go. Okay. I see, I see. Well, it makes sense. It makes sense. So let's go ahead and place that. So we've we've placed a farm plot now. So are they gonna? Oh, I want to see someone start farming. Oh, look! There he goes. There he goes. Man, all the cats. Huh. Okay. So what's he doing now? So he's a planter. So I guess he's he's tending the farm. <laughs> Way too big. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I think this is okay. I mean, it doesn't seem that big to me, but I guess it is too big. But eh, I bought a bought a ton of seeds at the start of the game. Oh, okay. So, huh. Okay, hold on, hold on. We're paused, so I've got a feel for this. Uh, Q and set building tasks. Okay, so let's go ahead and Q. Construction nearly done. Alright, so it hasn't been constructed yet, so I can't do anything with it just yet. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and wait for it to be built. Oh, okay, it's built. So now let's go to Q. And, uh, wait, hold on. Is this the right Q, right? Yeah, Q. Okay, so we got plump helmets. It's the only thing we have seeds for. So we have fallow. I don't know what that means. Uh, fertilize. See, seas, fert, uh, spring, summer, autumn, winter, hmm. Okay, so let me guess, if I just hit enter, that has enabled it for plump helmets, okay. So it's, it's enabled for the plump helmets now. Uh, do I have to do anything else? Every season, plump helmets. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Oh, I see, I see. So, like, so right now it's for spring. So, you have spring, and then summer, plump helmets again. Then autumn, plump helmets, and then winter, plump helmets. Okay. Okay, I got it. So, that's just setting it so that every, uh, so every season, it, it's going to be the same thing. Okay, okay. Uh, well, hold on, let me make sure that there's farming every season. Okay. So, I think we're good. Um, I, I guess we're good. Like, it, it, it's all good to go, then. So, let's, uh, let's resume. Um, oh, look, he's going back out there. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I can I can definitely see the advantage to going with plump helmets. Um, it, it definitely definitely seems to be a good decision. Uh, I, I like it. I'm see I'm kind of getting a feel for how the game works now. Um, I'm okay with this. And let me let me go back to the top layer. So on the top layer, uh, not a whole lot going on out there. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, so okay, like I wanted to, to do something with all of the uh, all the wood that I got. Like I've got a bunch of wood, and I don't really know what to do with that. I uh, like I, I've got a so I've got this big room here, and I want to use that as a as a storeroom. Uh, and then I guess also I need probably need some beds, right? Probably could use a couple of beds or something. Also, wait, what what is this? Is that a cave? Like, like, is that a cavern? I think that might be a cavern of some sort. Or that just... I, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, just have some roasted mushrooms with uh, some mushroom juice and mushroom soup. I'm sure it'll be fine. So, okay, let, let me do some more mining. I want to make more rooms. So, uh, how about... I guess we need a place for them to maybe, like, to sleep and all of that. Some beds, you know? I'm guessing. I, either way, I want to extend my mine out a little bit. I want to I wanna add more space here. So I want to go, like, out here. And a uh, little further up. Okay, so I want to start building out this way. Hmm. Ah, okay. Oh, I get it. So, so wait, wait, hold on. If I like, if I hit the, the back key. Hmm. Okay, I, I kind of get it. So like, yeah, this is the top layer. I look down, that's, that's kind of the same thing. So... Okay, it's, it, I'm just trying to get my head around it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, to wrap my head around the perspective that's going on here. I think I got it. So, uh, hmm, need a carpenter shop. I, I need lots of things. I'm, I'm very sure I need lots of things. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, let's, let's work on some rooms. That's, that's like what? That's three by. Yeah, it's, it's big enough. And let's make some room up here. 
and another room right here. I'm just kind of clearing out, just clearing out space to use for later. So, okay, so we're gonna clear out some more space. Um, hmm. So, okay, workshops. Gotcha. Well, we'll start doing that. Uh, now that I'm gonna have some rooms, uh, we'll, we'll start making workshops and all that good stuff. Man, look at look at all the cats. Look, look at all the cats just kind of. Okay, how do I start farming the cats? That's what I want to know. That's that's the important issue here. Uh, how do we farm cats? Okay, hold on, hold on. So we we've got our. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I might want to make things a little bit wider, huh? Okay, well, it makes sense, I guess, because maybe they can cave in. Or just for traffic, I, d I don't know. I guess let's, uh... Let's maybe, uh, hold on, hold on, let's... Let's extend that, let's, um... Let's extend things like that. There we go. Yeah, we'll, we'll just kind of, uh, stretch things out a little bit. So there. Okay. More, a little, little bit more space. A little, little bit more space there. So, a butcher shop and tanner for preparing the leather. Hmm. Oh my god, cat cheese. <laughs> that would be great. Let's, let's make cat cheese. Damn. Damn. Okay, let, let's see, um, so, okay, rooms, I'm, I'm kind of catching up to the chat here, uh, hmm, well, I, I guess, okay, I guess the first thing that I want to do is, so I've cut down a lot of trees, they're just kind of laying outside on the, on the ground, how can I go about storing the wood, because I've, I've designated this big room over here as, like, I want this to be the storage room. How do I go about actually getting things stored inside of it? Hmm. So, how do I, how do I go about doing that? And let me just resume here while they dig out the tunnels. There we go, just kind of, just expanding the tunnels a little bit. Man, all this red, it... I feel like I'm looking at the virtual boy. <laughs> okay, okay. So, stockpile. P and set it to wood and then... Okay. Okay. So let's go to P. And, uh... Alright, so we got what? Food, coins, refuse, uh... Stone... Wood. Okay. Hmm. Okay, okay then. So I want wood to be stockpiled right about here. So uh, I, I guess it doesn't need to be that big of a stockpile, but I want it to be a decent size one. So we'll 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 say wood goes right there, and stone goes right here. So wood and stone. So oh god, they they all look the same. Yeah, I see. It's like a the designation. I um. Oh, there, there we go. So wood and stone. Uh. Oh my. Oh my. Corpses. Hmm. Oh, a single log takes up a single square. Well, in that case, then I'm gonna need to rethink this whole system. Um. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have to to rethink this. Um. Let me remove the designation. Yeah, I'm gonna have to rethink that. I'm gonna have to rethink that whole thing. Hmm. Okay, okay, hold on. Before I start designating... Yeah, b before I start designating anything, I think I need to rethink my storage system. So, um... How about this, okay? Like, we are gonna go ahead, kinda... Yeah, we're gonna mine out that area. And I'm gonna create some larger rooms for storage, okay? Hmm. Oh, I could stockpile it outside, huh? 
Oh, oh man, stolen logs. <laughs> well, we'll see. Uh, I want to rethink my whole system here. Uh, so, okay, this is going to be like a, I don't know, some kind of central area, right? And, uh, okay, so this is going to be like a central, the, I don't know, the central shaft, we'll call it. Uh, we're going to make a storage room a little bit off to the side. We're going to make it too, yeah, too wide. And we're gonna put it like uh, like right around here. It's gonna it's gonna start off right over here. Okay. So storage rooms. Um, I'm just thinking about how I wanna how I want things laid out for my convenience, so that I remember where things are. Because uh, that is the important thing here is that I know where I put things. So for wood for wood. Let's go ahead and put the wood right there, okay? So wood is gonna go there. And then and right here uh, this can be for stone. And this can be for... So basically I'm gonna make all my storage rooms kinda like just kinda like, like that. And a varying sizes how I need them. And um... Yeah, let's let's go ahead and do that. Stretch it out here. Oh, it's a little awkward here to build things, but uh, okay, okay. Do that. I don't guess they need to be too wide. Not for this. Not really. Um. So I guess in that way, let's just kind of. There we go. So they're only going to be one wide, actually going to the storage areas. So, uh, okay, we got like wood, stone, and then, or maybe even wood in the middle and stone to the side, and then food right next to that. Hmm. I I'm sure, I'm sure that the, the guides can help me out a lot, but I, I don't, uh, you know, I'm not gonna look up a guide while I'm streaming. <laughs> uh, I, this is how I like to learn. Um, this is actually how I prefer to learn, like, in life, um, I, I get more out of doing than I do out of uh, watching or listening. Uh, I might fuck up a bit at first, but uh, once I get it down, I've got it down. Like, I, I'll remember it forever, so. Um, okay, okay. Uh, I, I like this. This looks fine to start, okay? Hmm. <laughs> All rooms should be round. Oh, it's like trying to make trying to make something round in Minecraft. <laughs> All right, so okay, this is good for now, and then I'll start designating things once the area gets kind of you know dug out a little bit. Yeah, I'm making progress, Tinfoil, slowly but surely, slowly but surely. Man, I have like I don't know. Um, people wanted me to play this game, and I'm playing it. Uh, but, uh, also, wait, did that dwarf just... Like, wait, hold on, something looks a little off there. Hold on, let me let me check something real quick. No, no one died or anything, okay. I guess they just, they dug something not the way I wanted them to. Anyway, um... Yeah, I, I play a lot of games, I guess you could say, like this, in the sense that I really like simulation games. I really do. I mean, I'm I'm more of an RPG kind of guy than I am a, a simulation guy, but um, I like simulations a lot. City builders, empire builders, uh, that god sims, that, that type of thing, right? Um, this is definitely in the vein of things I like, and I think I will maybe give it another shot another time. But I don't know if this is going to be a game that I'll just, like, be playing just for fun, you know? I don't think I'll ever get to that point. <laughs> okay, so we've got our rooms. Now, let me start designating some things here. So, stockpiles. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, look, I like this a lot, but I've... I mean, look, I've played a lot of very complicated games in my time. Uh, I, I don't, I don't want to say this is the most complicated, because I've certainly played a lot of, uh, 
They, I've played lots of space sims, lots of, uh, you know, lots of god sims, lots of city builders. Um, it's definitely up there, but it's just, it's the, st the graphical style of it. I, I gotta be honest, the graphical style of this game, it hurts my eyes to look at. So maybe, maybe if there was like some kind of texture pack that, that makes things look like something, maybe I could get behind it. Um, but it's, again, I'm not saying that the graphics are bad, I'm saying they physically, my eyes, I'm experiencing eye strain right now. That's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, um, so I want to designate wood, alright? So I want to designate, I want to designate this for wood. Alright, so, designate. So all my wood is going to be stored right here. All of my stone is going to be stored right over here. Alright, and food, all the food is going to be stored right over here. Okay, so we, we got wood, stone, food. The basics. The basics. Hmm. I don't know, like, also, here's another thing, I've got a lot of simulation games I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm working through right now. Um, I, I very recently got back into Caesar 2, and Caesar 2 is one of those city builders, uh, slash empire builders that, um, it's very complex and, and difficult, and I want to play that some more. <clears throat> um, so that's something else I want to actually get into. And then there's Starflight 2. Uh, Starflight 2 is, is such a wonderful space sim. Uh, it, it's just, again, I have you know, difficulty figuring out what to do at times. Okay, so we got stockpiles. So are people going to start stockpiling now? Are they going to... Wait, wait, hold on. Planter cancels plant seeds. Need plump helmet spawn. So there aren't enough seeds to fill the whole thing. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think more plebs are definitely needed here. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Okay, well, no, like... Man, um... Oh, oh, send it. Uh, look, almost every one of the, the simulation type of games that I play, almost all of them, are the kind of game where if you do anything wrong, you have to start over. Like, almost all of them. <laughs> So, I mean, that's nothing new to me, okay? And I don't mind starting over, I really don't. Uh, so, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Um, yeah, I'll get more seeds as I harvest. I, I figured that. I figured it works like that. <laughs> oh man, get on that Plebs Are Needed remix. I, I seriously think that you could make a pretty sick remix out of the, uh, you know, Plebs Are Needed, Plebs Are Needed. I, I think you could do it. I think you could do it. Okay, so, um... Workshops, workshops, B, and uh, W, but I just want to take a look at my options real quick. Uh, workshops, okay, so we got workshops. Um, well, I want to get a, I want to designate an area for said workshops. I intend to do something else with those little rooms right there. I've got other plans for that. Uh, I'm going to build the workshops over here. So here's what we're going to do, okay? Hmm. <laughs> and yeah, look, it, the thing is, is that I don't, like, okay, look, another game I'm playing is Might and Magic, the first one, and that game has, the game has almost no graphics at all, like, it is almost entirely a text-based game, and I love it, I, I absolutely love that game, okay? Uh, my issue is not, th my issue is not, like, don't mistake it. Don't, don't think that I'm saying, oh, look at these, look at these ancient graphics, I hate them. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, the graphics actually hurt my eyes. Like, I want to like them, but the graphics are actually, I don't have the best eyes, and these graphics hurt to look at. So, something that would be a little bit more pleasing to the eyes, yeah, I, I'd like that, you know, I'd, I'd really like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's let's go ahead and set some workshops here. All right, uh, we'll we'll start with one, I guess, just just one. So let's uh, let's go ahead and designate it. 
Oh, 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 hold on, oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Three by three, three by three. So yeah, let me let me fix this. Let me let me fix my mistake before they start mining. Uh, let's go ahead and okay, three by three. So let's let's get rid of that and let's say okay. So let's go ahead and uh, workshops or no, uh, mine, mine. So we're gonna mine out a three by three area. So that's uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. And there we go. Man, that looks weird. It's it's because it's more yeah, it's it, it's more vertical than horizontal, but it, that is three by three. So okay. I mean, they they are text symbols, but I guess like here's the thing. Uh, like if you want to know why it hurts my eyes, it's uh, it's because you have like all of these. Like okay, like when I look at this right here, right? Like, my eyes are seeing all the little symbols and the, the different colors, and it's it's doing something weird with my eyes, and it doesn't feel good, okay? But when I'm just looking at plain text, right? Just just plain monocolor text, that's not a problem. Oh man, look, look at that. They're, they're putting the food in there, they're putting the wood in there. Doing good. But yeah, it's, um, people tend to mistake what I say, uh, like, I, I guess the, the mining isn't the top priority right now, I guess they, they have better things to do, huh? But, but yeah, um, so, it, people on the internet, they tend to mistake what I say as I hate something, or, uh, no, it's, it's just I'm kinda saying what comes to mind, and, uh, um, yeah, I, I do think this game is interesting. I'm enjoying what I'm seeing right here. I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying what I'm playing. I just don't enjoy what I'm looking at. <laughs> yeah, get better eyes. <laughs> uh. Alright, so I, I guess they'll mine that area once they finish stockpiling. I mean... I guess they're busy stockpiling, and they'll they'll get around to it, huh? I guess they'll get around to it anytime now. <laughs> well, like I, I guess here's the thing. Um, what really comes to mind is at at one point I did like a I, I did a whole I had a, a fun little internet archaeology thing going on where. Uh, I, I went and I played some old things like like Active Worlds and um, Worlds.com, like just ancient, uh, you know, 3D virtual chat game program things, whatever you want to call them. Um, and I had a lot of harsh words to say. I had a whole lot of harsh words, but um, at the same time, I, I was always like, man, this is, you know, for the time, it was really interesting. This is a great time capsule. I, you know, I was huge on this type of thing back in the day. Like, I played the hell out of things like that back in the day. I loved them. Uh, so I, I kind of, you know, I come from a place of, of really, uh, you know, a place of love, right? But then I did, like, I put the archive up on YouTube, and everyone, like, I had so many, like, worlds.com defenders uh, popping in there. Uh, basically, uh, you know, look at this chuckle fuck, you know, he hates everything, and it's, yeah, a lot of projection going on. <laughs> I just, I try to clarify what I mean when I say things. Oh uh, yeah, I see it. I, I see them sleeping in the hallways. Uh, I do see it. Hmm. Okay, so hauling has a higher priority. Okay. Alright, so we, we've dug out a little space here. Finally. Um, let's go ahead and make a workshop. So, let's do, uh... Hold on, let me, let me think. B W. Did I hit the right thing? Uh, let me take a look here. Oh, oh, yes, this is the workshop menu. Okay, so okay, what kind of workshop do I want? Um, it looks like I can make a lot of different workshops. Um, if someone do please tell me what sort of workshop I might want. I'm guessing a carpenter's workshop would be like. You know, pretty high up there, but we'll see. Hmm. Yeah, I am learning the hotkeys. 
Uh, I'm guessing carpenters, right? That's that's what we want. I don't want to like rush into anything here, uh, but I think carpenter is what I want. Okay, yeah, carpenter to build. I, I kind of figured that was where it was going. Kind of figured. Oh, hey, look at that. Look, I don't. I don't even have to. I don't even have to manually. Yeah, nice, nice. S slap that thing right there. Yeah, okay, so we'll do that, and maybe we'll get ready. Hmm, yeah, we'll, we'll maybe, like, build out another spot for a, uh, for another workshop. Oh, wait, I have another little option here. Carpenter's Workshop, item, oak logs. Okay. I guess just, uh, enter? Alright, so we got a, a Carpenter's Workshop. I suppose. And let's let's go ahead and let's dig out some more space here. I want to I want to have more space to make another make another workshop. Hmm. Okay, we'll make another workshop right here. 3 by 3. And a little wag one in. And then we'll just kind of we'll keep doing that, I think. So let's see, that's a view wall there. Okay. Three by three. So yeah, I'm just gonna make a... This is for future expansion later, basically. Hmm. Alright, well, thanks for showing up, Lumi. Uh, very helpful. Everyone's been helpful this time around. It's nice. Ah, okay, it's asking what... Yeah. Well, I mean, all I've got is uh, the oak wood, so I guess that's what they're going to make it out of. Hmm. Ah, okay. So, oh, let's resume. Hmm. I, I guess they built it. Yeah, they're doing things in there, so I guess they're... They're working. Oh, I built that one a little too close. I, I knew it. I had a feeling I built that one a little too close, but that's okay. That's okay. Hmm. Huh. Oh, ni nice. Are, are things gonna catch on fire? Are, are things gonna be... Are we gonna have... Uh, is our whole dwarf fortress gonna burn down? <laughs> nice. Okay, so sleeping rooms bedrooms. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Okay, okay, hold, hold, hold on. Hold on a minute. Set building. Okay, we can add a new task. Promote task. Add new task. Add new... Okay, add new task. So I can... Uh, wait, hold, hold on, hold on. There we go. So I can make a wooden shield, make wooden bucklers. So I can just tell them to make things. Uh, construct doors. Interesting. <laughs> nice, nice. I am all about the natural disasters. So uh, bring on the flames. Hmm. Alright, let's see. So I... Hmm. Man, bookcases... It, it's all quite intricate, I have to say. Yeah, beds, tables, and chairs. Okay, so let's let's see. Um, bed. Construct a bed. Hmm. Oh, right, right. Barrels, I, yeah. Okay, well, let's go for beds. So, construct bed. Uh, how about another new task? So, how about... Uh, bed uh, we got buckets we got barrels so okay how about some barrel bed and uh, and some tables and chairs all right wooden chair and what else and table there we go hmm Okay, then. Oh, it's it's only constructing one. Okay. Well, I want to make, like, enough beds for all of my dwarves, so... Yeah, one bed for seven dwarves. Well, hey, hey. 
I, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna shame them, right? <laughs> uh, so let's see, okay, how do I tell it to make more? So... Okay, plus and minus, that's up and down. Hmm... I, do I have to add it again, or...? Hmm... Hmm... Let's see, how can I make it, like, add more on there? Like, hold on... Oh, oh, that doesn't... That doesn't do what I want it to do. Uh, either way, we'll, we'll maybe... We'll get on it in a minute. Uh, what I want to do... What I want to do... Uh, I wanted to designate these areas up here as their sleeping quarters. <laughs> and I don't even have to uh, see this time around. I don't have to. I don't have to be the one getting dirty. The chat's doing it for me. Okay, so R for repeat or add again to make more. Okay, okay, I got gotcha. you. Um. Well, yeah. I guess let's go ahead and uh, let's Q. And construct bed so repeat okay so yeah I, I guess I want to repeat that I want to repeat the construct bed and the barrels as well uh, we need more barrels I, I think that's uh, something we need I guess for right now just one chair and table so I want to make bedrooms I think these three rooms will be enough for right now hmm Uh huh. Huh. Okay, well, the work task, that might be what I need. Uh, but for right now, I'm just gonna tell them to keep repeating it. Just keep making more beds. Uh, I guess we can, I don't know, we can burn them later if we need to. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, I guess, okay, I guess it might be a bad idea to have them just keep making them infinitely. That might be a problem. That might be a problem. We, we might just have to chop the entire forest down. Uh, so yeah, let, okay, let's not do that. Um, it was a good idea, but yeah, let's, let's, let's not do that. That would be hilarious though, just, just nothing but beds. Just like the whole cave would just be full of, you know, beds and barrels and, uh. Okay, so... Okay, let me let me see. So I want to set like how do I set a specific task? Yeah, how do I make a task? Um like, like I want them to make more than one. I don't want to have to like do add task 20 times though. I don't I want to do that. Although actually, I guess I only need like maybe 7 beds. So Hmm. I don't, I don't even need that, do I? <laughs> oh, the job list. I see. Okay, okay. I don't want to mess with that. So here's what I'm going to do, okay? I, I, I hear you. I know what you're talking about. But that would be even more of a hassle for me. So um, as, the, as the new player, here's what I'm going to do, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm gonna it's B to construct bed right so I'm gonna do a B a B a B so that's four five a B that's six there we go that's seven beds so um that's how I'm gonna do it okay that's how I'm gonna do it yeah I, th I think that'll work I think that'll work out just just fine so now I want to designate some areas as sleeping areas so um, I I'm guessing that would be building and then bed. Uh, do I need a floor? Do they need? Do they need floors? Hmm. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like I'm gonna build some beds. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stick some beds in in the corners of these caves. Uh, no floors or anything like that. I mean, I don't, I don't think they need floors. Well, let me take a look at that. Well, you got wall, floor, stairs, track. Okay, yeah, we've already got a floor. It's called dirt. So, um, let's go ahead and just make some beds. So that'd be B. 
needs bed. Okay, okay, so I have to I have to have the beds built before I can do anything. So uh, I guess let's resume. Let us resume and let's just watch things happen. Man, I, that's just some great living conditions. Just all these dwarves just kind of yeah, their their bed is just on the dirt floor. Okay, so that guy, he's going to work. He's going to work crafting things. Awesome. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, okay. Well, it's something for later, I guess, because I, I tried and I couldn't really, like, there was a, a manager thing and I, I couldn't really get it to, to do anything. Uh, I guess that's for later. That's for later. Hmm. Oh, wait, hold on. Something else I want to do. So, we're working on beds now. But what I really want to do is I want to get this cat farm... I want to get this cat farm going. Because, as you can see, I have a lot of stray cats tame. And, uh... Yeah, I, I want to I wanna start a, a cat farm. Okay. Uh, this this is something that I planned very early on. I want to get a cat farm. How do I go about farming cats? How how do I how do I start my cat ranch? Uh, that that's what I want to know right now, uh, because I feel like we need an alternative source of food. Because I didn't bring any cattle. Okay, like uh, we don't have any cattle. We've got cats and dogs too, but the the, the dogs are for other things. Um, so how do I manage these cats? How do I, how do I start, like, how do I start a ranch? Uh. Hmm. <laughs> just cut the cats down, like, like, just chop them down like trees. Uh. Hmm. Okay, so I guess I can't, um, like, I, I can't put them in a, a pen or anything, like, I, like, I, <laughs> drumstick, dr drumstick, no, no. Hmm. Yeah, see, that's what I wanted. I, I want to put, I want to put these cats in a pasture, okay? Like, I, I want, like, a, you know, a, I want a cat ranch. That's what I want. Yeah, there needs to be like you know people, uh, you know, lassoing cats and you know hauling them in to to the slaughterhouse. That's um, this is a proper ranch, okay? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Right, well, let me just let things happen now because we we need to get those uh we need to get those beds built. Okay, butcher shop. I'm on it. I am on it. So let's go ahead and yeah, I want to test it out. Okay. So um, yeah, let, let's make a butcher shop right over here. So uh, oh, hold on. Yeah, I'm so used to like I'm so used to Starflight too. In that game, it's the space bar to uh, it's the space bar to to do things. So. Yeah, but no, enter, enter here. I uh, keep forgetting. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna kind of get that area sorted out. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Uh, okay, so yeah, I, I picked a, um, I picked a difficult animal to, uh, to farm. Okay, so now I want to make, uh, so I want to build workshop, and, oh, oh god, there we go, I, I keep, I keep forgetting, it's plus and minus, so let's make a butcher shop, you, and let me put the butcher shop right here, there we go, and we're gonna make it out of, uh, we have oak, and Cherry, okay. Hmm. Hmm. 
I guess we have lots of oak. Although it, it worked out last time, so I'm gonna build it out of the same thing. Okay, so there we go. We, we've got a, a butcher shop on the way. So let's let them build that. And, oh man, that... This is this is opening up all kinds of horrible implications. So we're just gonna skin cats. Like we're gonna we're gonna eat cats and we're gonna skin them for uh, for our clothing. So we don't just eat them, but we wear them as well. That's great. Dwarves are disgusting, disgusting creatures. Okay, so that guy's he's making all the beds. Um, I, I guess he's gonna do that. Uh, what's going on on the surface, by the way? Let me let me check the surface out. Uh, doesn't really look like a whole lot is going on on the surface. What are the yeah wait what are, what are these purple things? These pink things? Soybean plant, soybean leaves. So there's there's soybeans growing out there. Okay, that's nice. Let's go back underground. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, hmm. <laughs> Gotta have those kitten biscuits. <laughs> okay, let's see. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I need to designate a dwarf to be the butcherer. Uh, but I don't think the building is finished constructing. I think that's kind of the, the issue here. Unless it is. Hold on. Um... Hold on, let me, uh, Q. Yeah, see, it's it's under construction right now. <clears throat> I think that the only, like, the only person who could be doing that, I think they're busy doing something else. Uh, what's, what's going on over here? Let me check that. Hmm. Okay, so... So that dwarf is doing things. Uh, it looks like that dwarf is very busy. Very, very busy. <laughs> I know, I know, this is, um... This game's too intense, man. I, I think I might just die if I keep playing this game. Uh, I definitely feel like my eyes just might explode. It's, it's just too much for me. Okay, let's, uh, uh... Let's see, so... I have one dwarf who can build things. And he's kind of rushing around, tending to many different things. So maybe I need... Maybe I need more dwarves doing things. So, let's go ahead and, uh... Let's go back to the surface. Oh god, man, that hurts my eyes. And that transition from staring at all red to then staring at this. So if we uh, if we do V, and let's take a look at some of these guys. So what's this guy doing right now? It says he's a hauler, a miner. That's nice. Uh, what's he doing right now, though? Hmm. Preferences? Labor. So, I want to set him to something else, like... Hmm... Let me think. Would it be woodworking, or stoneworking, or crafting? Hmm... Hmm... Yeah, I'll have to assign one to be a butcher, but... Well, the issue is even that I don't have, uh... Like, I don't have any sort of, uh... No one's building the workshop. That's the problem right now. The workshop isn't even built yet. That's the issue. Okay, um, hmm. Yeah, I, I think this game, there's, there's definitely something wrong that it causes that much stress. Huh. Oh, I... So wait, wait, wait. So so the butcher the butcher builds the shop. That's not how that works. Um 
But okay, okay, the butcher builds the shop in Dwarf Fortress. So, um, crafts? Uh, nope, not crafts. Uh, what else? What, what else could it be? Farming related. Farming related, how about that? Uh, cooks, got beekeepers. Butchery, how about this? Butchery, that sounds like it would be appropriate. So, butchery, that's, that's what he's gonna be doing. Okay, so he's he's now a butcher. He is he is now the butcher. Uh, let's go ahead and go back down one layer. Hmm. Oh, hey, look, look, they're they're doing things. They're doing things. Okay. So we have a a butcher now. Uh, so okay, we got a butcher. Q. Wait, hold on. Q. So we have a butcher shop. Add new task. So he can butcher a dead animal, he can extract from a dead animal, and he can capture a, a live land animal. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, uh... Well, I'll, I'll do that eventually, but I'm just trying to, like, I'm trying to test things out and see if I can, you know, if I can even butcher a single animal first. So, okay. Okay. Uh, I guess I want him to butcher a dead animal. Okay, so we're, we're gonna tell him to butcher dead animals. Um, I... Do I... Hmm. So he's gonna butcher dead animals, and I guess I want that to be on repeat. Okay, let's, let's see if we can butcher a cat, so... He's gonna butcher dead animals, so let's make some animals dead now. Uh, what, what do we got? So that animal is ready for the slaughter. Uh, wait, I don't want to. I don't want to kill the 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 um the male cats. I don't want to kill the male ones. Only the female cats. Because I, I have less male cats than female cats. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. I need to. There's a menu where I can see how many cats I have. I think. Right. Hold on. I, I swear there was a there was a menu to see like animals. Okay, so we've got this is all of our domesticated animals, I believe. So we have a lot of female cats and only only two male cats right now. Okay. So yeah, if I kill a female cat, that's that's not gonna that's not gonna set us back any. Okay, I got it, I got it. So let's go ahead and uh, so V and uh, hold on. I want to see its information. I need, I need to know which kind of cat this is. Okay, it's a it's a female cat. It is a female cat. So okay, got it. Female cat. So let's now go ahead and. Uh, Done. Oh, okay, I'm hitting the wrong thing. Uh, v. Okay. Uh, let's see. Combat. Combat. Oh. Uh, preferences. Okay, ready for slaughter. S. All right. So the cat is ready for slaughter. So now let's see what happens. So is a dwarf gonna? Uh, okay, so they butchered an animal, I, I think. I think, yeah, I think they just butchered an animal. Uh, let me, let me take a look. Let me, um, let's pause and hit K. So is that red dot, is that cat meat? Uh, no, that's just plump helmet spawn. Uh, so what happened to the cat meat? Oh, rotten rat remains. That's nice. A stray cat in there. Hmm. Okay, the, the stray cat tame has been slaughtered. Okay, so they've they've been slaughtered. Hmm. So they, they need to be in a past or they don't. Hmm. Okay, so let's look at the butcher shop. Uh 
add new tasks. I don't really have anything. So okay, it's it's been slaughtered. So w what happens now? Like, do they just automatically? Does so the butcher like I set him to like on a repeat task of uh, butchering animals? Um, at the workshop, it's gonna be there. Okay. Oh right, hold on. Q. That's, that's what I did. Um, I don't know. Let's, let's give it a second. So wait, he he just he did something. He the butcher just did something. He did something. What did he do? I don't know. But I don't I don't see it anywhere. I don't I don't see the meat anywhere. Uh, unless. Hold on, maybe if I hit K? Uh, it's, it's not in the butcher shop. Is it over here? Is, is the cat meat over here? No. No, it is not. Uh, T! See, look, I'm learning new commands all the time. Okay, there you go, okay. So, we've got a, a stray cat skull, skin, and bone. So, um, nothing that we can eat, unfortunately. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, l let's see if they did that, shall we? Let's, let's see if they took the meat away. Um, that doesn't really... I don't know, let's assume they did it. <laughs> let's assume they did it. Um... Okay then, okay then. Um, so we have the skull, skin, and bones. I'm assuming that's why we want the tanner's shop. Uh, I'll get to that in a little bit. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, um, man, the animal slaughter thing, that's it's rather complicated. I, I was hoping that more, I was hoping there'd be more automatic processes in the game. Oh, uh, hold on, there's something I need to do here. There's something I need to do. So I want to build some things. I want to build some beds. That's, uh... Yeah, before I got on this whole cat slaughter rampage, uh, I need to make beds. So, let's make... So we have oaken beds. Okay, so I've got one oak bed, one pecan wood bed, and five cherry wood beds. So let's go ahead and add a bed. Okay, okay. I, I got you. I hear you about the barrels and all that. But I just want to build some beds real quick. So let's, yeah, let, let's get some beds in here, alright? There we go. Just, oh, oh god, too fast. <laughs> okay, let's make another bed right in here. I keep accidentally doing that. Uh, wait, wait, hold on. B. Let's make one right here. Alright, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna fill this area out with beds. That way everyone has a, a place to sleep at night. So, uh, okay. Let's make another bed right there. And another one. Okay, so we've used all the beds. So everyone has a bed now. Th awesome! Yay! Yay! <laughs> that dead cat money. <laughs> uh, gotta have some cat skulls on my bedpost. <laughs> Alright, so... So now they should be, like... Yeah, they should have beds everywhere. That's that's nice. So when they want to sleep now, I'm guessing they'll go. Yeah, look look at that look at that. They're they're sleeping in their beds now. I'm guessing that makes them happier to uh, to sleep in their own bed, huh? Yeah, I, I guess it's better than sleeping on the floor. And I suppose they claimed ownership of the beds. I'm I'm guessing that's what they were doing just now. Okay. All right, so we got a store for wood. We have the food stores. Everything seems to be going okay. And we have a, a butcher shop and a carpenter shop. That's nice. 
Alright, I'm not too sure what I want to do now. Like, I've got beds for everyone. Uh, we seem to have a stable source of food with the, uh, the mushrooms. And butchering cats for their precious meat is always an option. So now I'm kind of wondering, what do I want to do next? Like, what, uh, what essential do I need? Uh, you know, the fluff, like all the extra stuff. That's nice. But what I want to know is what kind of, what do I need to, to survive and grow at this point? Hmm. <laughs> all right, drumstick. I know it's late. See you next time. Probably, uh, well, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Uh, kind of up in the air. Kind of up in the air. Hmm. Ah, so I, I guess I have no idea what they were doing. Uh, well, I guess I want to designate that as, a, as an area that they can sleep in. Or, uh, I'm not sure how that works. Hmm. A still and barrels. A still. Uh, let me guess, that's something I have to build in the workshop. Hmm. Ah, okay. So I need a still to make alcohol and, uh... Well, okay, 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 hold on, let's pause the game. Let's slow things down here. So, uh, a still and, and, uh, barrels. Okay. Q on a bed. Oh, hold on. Q. Okay. So Q on a bed. Uh, ah, I see. I can make it a bedroom. Gotcha. Uh, okay, well, let's go ahead and make this a bedroom. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on now. Um... I guess I want the whole thing to be a bedroom? I guess? Let's, uh... Now wait, is that gonna- is this like an individual thing? Like, uh... I'm just gonna do like, there, whole thing. Uh, it's gonna be a dormitory. <clears throat> okay... So there you go, it's a- it's a dormitory. Um, that seems good to me. Wait, did it go through or not? Yeah, it went through. Okay. Oh no, oh no, wait, is that, that's all separate things, huh? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so like, even though, like, when I highlight over each one, it's like, make bedroom? Huh. Okay, I guess I just need one then. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, and it'll be a dormitory. Let's make this a bedroom. Hmm. Okay. And dormitory. So, so okay. All of those are going to be dormitories where anyone can go, and it's, a, it's shared beds, good times had by all. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Ah, I see. Well, that's a very different way of handling things. Uh, but I guess I understand now. I I get it now. Hmm. Yeah, I, I figure that, like, each dwarf having their own room would... That would be much more satisfactory, I, I would assume so. Okay, okay. Hmm. Oh, right, a dining hall. I, uh, man, oh god. <laughs> So many things I hadn't even thought of. Oh, okay then. Um, I will have to ponder on that. Uh, so, 
Okay, we've got some beds. We have a... They're designated dorms now. Um... Hmm. Huh. So, okay, uh, what I want to do now... I guess we need some way for them to cook their cat meat. Uh, they, they need some way to cook that cat meat. And maybe the mushrooms, too. I'm not too sure about that. But let's go ahead and make another workshop. So let's, uh, hold on, let's build. Workshop. And what have we got? Uh, how about a kitchen? Let's make a kitchen, so... Let's make a kitchen right there. Okay, so yeah, that's that's the next step. We, we are making a kitchen. And let's unpause. <laughs> yeah, I, I have to be honest, everything about this game seems to be quite unintuitive. Um, I'm, I'm guessing that's how they wanted it. I, I guess that's how they wanted to, to play it. And, man, I know a lot about inconsistencies when it comes to games. <laughs> well, not just, like, the video kind, but also, like, uh, I mean, the, the one kind of tabletop I do. You know, like, the man, the World of Darkness books, like that. I, it's a mess. It's, just, it's a big mess. It's an inconsistent mess. Because, you know, when it started, like, no one knew what it was going to become. And then, and then you had all the, these different games with different rules and... And, uh, none of the books are, are laid out really all that well, but I still love it. <laughs> still love it. But uh, I know a thing about inconsistency. Okay, let's see. Um, so I have a new sh workshop here. Let's take a look at it. Let's queue it. So we got a kitchen. Uh, we can add tasks. So they can prepare. I'm guessing we want to prepare easy meals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, tinfoil. That's, um, yeah, old World of Darkness versus new World of Darkness. I mean, they're both kind of a mess. Like, that's the funny thing. They're, they're both sort of a mess, but the old World of Darkness, that's, that is a mess and a half. Just all the different game, uh, the game lines and how the books are laid out. It's just how it's laid out. It's terrible. So, okay, let's see, um... Let's go ahead and tell them to prepare easy meals. And let's make it a repeat task. Hmm. So, okay, okay. So, I'm going to do I'm going to tell them to repeat prepare easy meals. That Now, am I like is this going to cause the entire dwarf economy to collapse or are we good? Are we good for that? Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, proceed. Hmm. Okay, they're doing things. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So press Z. Okay, I'm, I, I pressed the Z. Oh wow, we've got 30 meat in the storage. I, I guess that's all cat meat. Got 50 plants. Hmm. Six other, huh? Well, yeah, we we've been harvesting plant. Uh, we've been harvesting plump helmets for a while now. Okay, four or five. Okay, so we'll we'll take the repeat off. We'll we'll take repeat off. Um, so okay, hold on, hold on. Let me uh, cue. And let's go. Yeah, let's take repeat off, and let's just do add task. So easy meals. So let's just let's just do like uh, let's just do five easy meals then. Hmm. Turn off plump helmets so they don't cook them. Huh. Oh god. <laughs> Hold on. Hmm. Oh, okay. Wait. 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 Hold. Hold on. Uh, how do I do this now? So, okay, I gotta make sure that the plump helmets are red on cooking. 
Uh, well, like, the only option I get is just to prepare meals. I don't... How do I tell it? Wait, details, maybe? No, that's not... That doesn't do anything. Uh, so how do I tell them, like, not to cook a certain thing? Uh, I don't think it's... No, not that. Not that. Okay, not this menu. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> I love it. It's like, no, not... It's like, you have to go through the menu. No, not not that menu. No, the other menu. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, kitchen. So, uh... Yeah, we, we've got plump helmets. We have 50 of them. Um... Permissions cook brew. So I guess I want to change it. I can toggle cook. So if I toggle cook, uh, I guess we want it to be blue. Permissions, cook, brew. So toggle cook, toggle brew. Well, okay, is, is red on or off? So we want it to be red. We, we want it to be, uh, to be red then, I guess. Okay. W wait, C... So do I want it red or do I want it blue? Oh, when red they don't cook them. Okay. Well, wait, wait. So if I'm telling if I'm telling the kitchen to prepare easy meals, um, what what exactly are they going to be cooking if they're not cooking all the plump helmets that I've been growing? Like, what what am I growing those plump helmets for if if not to cook? I'm a bit confused as to the logic behind this. Like, I mean, I, I guess maybe they're cooking the cat meat? I, I don't know. Oh, they'll eat them raw. Huh. Ah, okay. Well, I guess that makes sense. So, let's tell them not to, not to, not to cook those. Okay. Well, yeah, they can, they can cook all the cat meat they want. Yeah, look at them. All right. So yeah, yeah, we're, we're we're gonna eat some some cat meat. I find this hilarious. I, I like a game that allows you to do that sort of thing. I mean, just just give me the option to cook all the cats. Now, see what I'd want is I want I want this to go a step further. All right, I want this to go one step further. So, like, if there's other like sentient races in the game. Like, I don't know, I, I saw like something about humans and elves and all that. Like, you know, allow me to capture elves and cook them, alright? I want some of that prime elf rib, alright? So, look, anything that isn't a dwarf is is just, is not, uh, if it's not a dwarf, then it's food. And that's, that's the, um, that's the philosophy that we go by here. Alright, it's taller than... If it's taller than four feet, it's food. <laughs> okay, so they can be brewed, and if they're brewed, they keep the seeds. Alright, well that would be nice. Oh hey, look, we got a cookable solid item. That's nice. That's nice. Oh, oh my god. Nice. <laughs> that would be, uh... Yeah, see... Look, it's like I wanna, I, I wanna be able to go all the way, okay? Like, how horrible can I go? All right, like, yeah, you know, these dwarves, okay, they can eat cats and dogs. Well, again, I don't want any limiters. You know, take the limitations off. All right, I want, I want some elf roast up in here. All right, <laughs> it's taboo. It is taboo. Yeah, I, I guess maybe it's, uh, might have to, that, that would be like the one time I'd want to, to, to mod a game. <laughs> okay, so, they're, they've cooked some cat meat, they've made a, a few cat meals, and they're harvesting the mushrooms, that's nice. Hmm. Okay, they, they need plump helmet spawn. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess they're just gonna... They're gonna kind of do their thing, I suppose. Alright, well, my dwarves are just doing their thing. Uh, hmm. <laughs> yep, 
you gotta eat them before they eat you. That's that's how uh, that's how we do things here. Oh, okay, booze. All right, all right. Uh, so I need a still. Um, I'm guessing that's a workshop type, right? And also, I, I kind of hold on. Oh God, <laughs> there we go. There we go. Um, so let's go to build. It's workshop. So what do we got? Uh, millstone, loom, a uh, still. There we go. Let's get some booze in here. All right. Well, I see. Look, I planned this all out. I've got plenty of space for workshops. All right. So they'll get to doing that. And now I'm I'm gonna assume that we need something to make the booze out of. Oh, hey, congratulations on what? What, what did I what did I do? It says congratulations, but I'm not sure not sure what it did exactly. Hmm. Oh, it, the barrels! I forgot about the barrels. I uh, uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, wait, are they building that yet? Doesn't look like they're building it just yet. Looks like they're, uh, maybe they have more important things to do. <laughs> hmm. Alright, so, yeah, let's, let's get to making some barrels and all that good stuff. So, let's add some new tasks. We want barrels. So, that's V. So, A, V. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and make some barrels. Uh, let's say five barrels for right now. Ah, yes, announcements, I forgot. Uh, we'll, we'll do that in a second. Uh, I made a table and a chair. I didn't really designate anything for it, but uh, we'll get around to that. So, uh, okay, okay, hold, hold on, hold on. I want to add a new task. And we've got a table, so I want some more chairs, which... Okay, which one is chairs? All right, wooden chair is C. Okay. So we're gonna make, yeah, we're, we're gonna make, uh, we'll have four chairs in total, basically. Uh, and let's check those announcements. Oh, that's a lot of announcements. Hmm, the miner Labash Asin and the brewer As Vabok Vabokad have married. Congratulations. Huh. Okay, so people are getting married now. I guess they're gonna make little dwarves, even littler dwarves. Good times. Hmm. <laughs> I guess I guess the dwarves are gonna start pairing off, and um, I guess they're gonna start reproducing soon, huh? We need more dwarves. We need more murderous, cat-eating dwarves. Hmm. Apparently, I'm 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 uh, finding new things here. Okay, so some other kind of uh, barrel. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me uh, let me queue here. Uh, let's see what else we got to build anyway. So, what do we got? Uh, hmm. We got mine carts. Uh, wheelbarrows. Do I need wheelbarrows? Uh, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna make one anyway. Even if I don't need it. Because <laughs> why not? Okay. So we got beds, um, I guess we're making, uh, we are making some, uh, hmm, well, we're, we're gonna make, like, a, we got a table, some chairs, I guess we're gonna make a dining room. So let me kind of plan that out, how I want to build here. Uh, let's, let's go ahead, and let's do some mining. It's been a while since we did mining, uh, but it's about that time again. 
Okay, let's, let's kind of mine down like this. And I think we'll make a, a nice dining hall right around here. Hmm. Ah, uh, I see. Okay, so like if they want to haul heavier things, because I, I guess it makes sense. I, I guess, you know, you, one dwarf cannot carry, uh, you know, a whole tree, right? Okay, let's go ahead and make, uh, let's designate some space here for, for eating. And we'll just put that right over here. There we go. I want it to be a nice big room. There we go. Okay, let's, uh, let's let things simulate. Man, they dig fast. I have no concept of time in this game. <laughs> like, I really don't. I really have no concept of how much time is passing in the game. I, I wish... I'm sure that I could check, but I mean, th there's no, like... Like, I really could use, like, a little, uh, you know, the, the, the date, the hour some little counter in the bottom left or something, you know? I could really go for that. Okay, that room's a little uneven. That's okay. Hmm. Ah. Okay. Well, um... Hmm. So let's build... Let's build some things. So, how about... Let me think. I want a table. I I've got a table. Yeah, let's make a table right here. Cherry wood table, there you go. Hmm. Alright then, so we're, we're making a table right there. I'm gonna let them build it. Oh look, he's getting to work. There he goes. So if I were to hit Q, so I can make this a dining room. So I want all of this to be dining room. So that is now a dining room. Hmm. Okay, well, that's a, that's a dining room, I guess. I, I guess, right? <laughs> I just started, like, uh, what, what time is it now? I, I just started playing Dwarf Fortress about 3 hours and 26 minutes ago. <laughs> okay, um... So, there's a table. Uh, do they need anything other than a table in the dining room? I mean, I don't know about you, but I can eat standing up. I, I don't know. Do they have to have chairs? Or do they want more tables? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, yeah, let me see. The Z menu. Uh, it's the 27th Malachite 92 Midsummer. Uh, it doesn't tell me anything. Okay. Oh, a meeting hall. Okay, okay, a meeting hall. I can do that. So let's designate it meeting hall. H. Okay, it's it's a dining room and meeting hall. Huh. Interesting. So a few dwarves and some dogs and cats just kind of went in there. Chairs are required. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I, I know. I, I, I've heard about the uh, about the pack. I've, I've heard about it a lot. Maybe next time. Uh, oh god, some migrants have arrived. Um, it just changed my view completely. I don't even know what I'm looking at anymore. <laughs> don't even know where I am. What am I doing? Uh, F1. There we go. I'm like, I don't, I don't even know what's happening. So, some migrants have arrived. Uh, let's go back down in here. Okay, some tables and chairs. So we need more tables, more chairs. Gotcha. Okay, so let me go ahead. Hmm. So wait, wait. Uh, what, what, what's the difference between having it just be a dining room and having it being a meeting room? Uh, what, what's, what's the difference there? What, what does that do for me? I know that a bunch of dwarves just like. You know, they, they ran into that room. Uh, I, I'm not really too sure, like, what what does that do exactly? Uh, let me add some new tasks. 
Look, I don't I don't need any immigrants in this dwarf fortress, okay? <laughs> Alright, only native dwarf fortress dwellers allowed. Like I'm the like I'm the type that when I play a game like for instance, um like you know, the Tropico games, I like I, I always set the policy so it's like nobody you know, nobody can leave the island and nobody can immigrate to the island either. <laughs> you know, only my population. All right, let's see. Uh, I guess let's get some more tables and, and chairs. Well, I got chairs. I've got a few chairs. Uh, we need more tables, though, so that's T. Construct table, so... Uh, I don't know. Let's, let's make, like, three tables. There we go. Uh, how's our wood holding out? We got plenty. Got plenty of wood. Hmm. Ah, okay, so it's where they gather when they're idle. Well, I don't know. Like, I... I'm okay with them idling at the, uh, I, I mean, for me, it's fine if they idle at the wagon. Hmm. And, and, you know, I, look, I will, I will gladly check some things out and maybe do the texture or not, but I've said it before, uh, I, I kind of have a thing about games where I like to play them the way, uh, wait, wait, Brewer cancels give water needs empty bucket they, they need empty buckets so I'll have to construct some of those okay uh, but what I was saying is that like I kind of you know the way I play games I would prefer to play them naturally I'm willing to, to get a, a pack and all that but um, I guess I'm just trying to I'm trying to play it the way it was intended and uh, and I love figuring things out I love stumbling around in confusion I really do like I, I actually I actually like stumbling around in confusion when I play games. I have no problem with that. So let's see. Um Yeah, let's build some buckets. I, I suppose I suppose let's make buckets. So make wooden bucket. Uh, I don't know how many buckets I'll need. So I'll go ahead and make like uh two of them. Yeah, let's just make two buckets. No, oh, we've got dwarf children. Uh oh. Hold on, let me check that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I didn't even notice that. Uh, yeah, we've got 15 population now. So, yeah, the, the population is booming. <laughs> They're cute little red faces. Oh, no. Hmm. Oh, invasions. Oh, God. I hadn't even thought about that. I thought we would be able to live in peace as, um, you know, peaceful mushroom farmers and, uh, and cat ranchers, but I guess peace, uh, you know, in inevitably it would be shattered by war. <laughs> Those dirty elves! <laughs> okay, um, so I, I don't know, I, I guess, yeah, the meeting room is fine, we'll, we'll make another room for the dining room, I suppose. And yeah, I know I'm out of booze. I'm making buckets. I'm I'm on it. We're making buckets, all right. So yeah, I I have everything set up. Uh, it's just I, I need I need buckets. So somebody's got to start building buckets now. There we go. The workshop is getting to work. <laughs> Uh, starting to die of thir wait hold on hold on hmm oh yeah we have no drink um hmm <laughs> well uh, uh, man okay let me think let me think here uh so if we go to the to the still add new task so they can extract from plants, and they can brew drink from plants. Hmm. Okay, which one do we want to do? Do, do we want to extract from plants, or brew drink from plants? Uh, I'm not too sure. I do want people to not die of thirst, though. That's I don't want that to happen. Uh, and I've got, like, one guy working on buckets. Hmm. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. So, uh, I guess what am I supposed to be doing here? Brew from plants? Okay. 
So, uh, brew drink from plants. Let's do that. So that's their new task, and let's set it to... Well, let's just add the task a few times, shall we? So, yeah, A and then B, A and then B. We'll, we'll do it like three times, and we'll see how that, uh, how that works out for me. Oh, right, right, barrels, I forgot. Uh, okay, hold on, let me, uh, let's cancel, let's cancel that task, and let's add, let's make some wooden barrels, so A and V, A and V, yeah, let's add some barrels, and uh, I guess that'll be okay for now. Hmm, okay, for the brew, o okay, we'll, we'll, we'll add some more brew, okay, we'll add a little more brew. So uh, let's add task. So A and B, A and B. And we'll just, because uh, I think they've already been brewing a little bit. Uh, I'll, I'll keep an eye on it. I'll monitor, I will monitor the situation. We've got all that wood over there. I, it's like, when, when can I, uh, it's like, can I extract some, some water from, from wood? No. <laughs> Wait, each dwarf, even even the kids? Like, is that all they drink? Like, do they literally just drink... They just drink booze? Even the kids, huh? I, I guess it's dwarf culture. Okay, so we've we got people working in the workshops. Yay. Hmm. So I need 75 units of booze per season. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, let me see. Let me let me check some things here. So we've got So right now we have 50 drink. So we got 50 drink. So people people should no longer be uh, dying of thirst. Hopefully, no one's dying of thirst now. Hmm. Huh. Huh. I don't think we have any water nearby. <laughs> okay, okay, so... We're brewing up, uh, let's take a look at the, so we should be, yeah, we should have lots of drink, lots of plants, it, I think we're doing good for all of that. So, okay, is there anything else that I need? Uh, what, what else do I possibly need? Also, I'm just gonna go ahead and start mining, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start tunneling, uh, just planning for the future here. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna get some some extra caverns going here. Just and there we go. I'm, uh, oh yeah, some more storage rooms, some more workshops. Let's go ahead and make a let's make a workshop right here. Well, let's plan for a workshop. We're not gonna build it just yet. There we go. So yeah, just planning for a future workshop there, and I'm gonna plan for some more expansion. Yeah, we're gonna plan for expansion over this way. There we go. Okay. Hmm. Uh, well, when it comes to trees, like, it looks like my, my, uh, stockpile for trees, it looks like it's pretty good. It, like, it looks like it's pretty damn good. So, uh... Yeah, let's let's go ahead and expand this area too. Uh, I'm I'm gonna expand it like uh, about out to here. Hmm. Uh, a little bit more. A little bit more. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're gonna expand that out some more. Uh, just planning. Hmm. Uh, 
All right. Oh, right. Uh, hold on. When it comes to stockpiles, let me check something here. Uh, okay, we have an animal stockpile, food stockpile, wood, bar slash block. Oh, yeah, we might need to make another stockpile. Uh, do we need a separate stockpile for all the drinks? Uh, I don't know. I do not know. Let's go ahead and, uh, so let's see, a wall is gonna be, like, right about there. There we go. Let's kind of plan that out. Okay. Let's see how that works out. So we're just doing some more digging all around. Okay, that room has been expanded. That's nice. Okay, so they're, they're already in the stop, the food stockpile. Okay. Hmm. Okay, well, good for right now. I, I guess that's all for future stuff if I need it. Um, the meeting hall's doing nice. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's take a look at this. Uh, I got 60 drink. Uh, meat kinda low. Plants, 70. Hmm. Okay, so what do we want to do now? I wonder. Got 15 population, which is nice. Hmm. Autumn has come. Uh, does, does that mean like, like it looks different outside? No, it looks the same. I, I figured it looked the same. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, we, we seem to be doing okay. Uh, but what do we need next? We got the still, we got food, we've... Maybe we can even butcher cats if we want to. Got bedrooms, got a meeting hall. Uh, oh wait, let me see if I can expand that a little bit too. Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and maybe make it a little bit larger. Uh, let's see, how do I do that? Resize room. Let's make it a little larger. There we go. There we go. Okay, nice big room all around one little tiny table. Okay, yeah, more tables and chairs. I, I, I figured, I figured. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, chairs and tables. Okay, tables, uh, we got one more table. So let's make a table right, uh, right there. And how about chairs? How about the chairs? Where Where is the chairs at? Hmm. Hmm, not really seeing it. Again, the text all just blurs together. Hmm. I thought I had chairs. Did I not make chairs? Did I, did I forget to make chairs? I see uh, seats, but uh, wooden chairs was what I made. Wait, hold on. Is it like a is it a sub menu? Okay, yeah, it's it's like a. Uh, I get it. I get it. Um, so let's make a chair there. Yeah, I get it now. It's a it's like a sub menu thing. I, I gotcha. Okay, let's do that again. C, and put it right there. I'm just gonna put the chairs right next to the tables. It, Makes sense to me. And we got four of them. So, let's build another one right over here. And one more. There we go, okay, so there you go, more more chairs. And, and hey there, uh, Allie, hey. 
welcome, welcome to the stream of the guy that just started Dwarf Fortress like three hours ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just started. Uh, I, I didn't think I'd be playing this game as long as I am. I, I mean, this game, just looking at it, gives me eye strain. Although, as I'm figuring things out, I'm getting more used to it. And my eyes are kind of watering now, which is slightly alarming. But, um... But I am having more fun now than I was. Definitely having more fun, I have to say that. Hmm. It is quite a... It's an interesting game, I'll give it that. I wish it... Again, people keep pointing me to the... To the, uh, you know, texture packs and all that good stuff. I'll have to check that out. Um... I guess it's mostly, it's it's not even the presentation that really gets to me. It's really not. Uh, what gets to me more than anything is how obtuse the controls are. That that kind of hampers my enjoyment a little bit more than the graphics even. Because I've played many games that don't look good, and I enjoy them. Hmm. <laughs> Oh hey, the uh huh, an outpost liaison has arrived. Their wagons have bypassed your inaccessible site. The merchants need to trade depot to unload their goods. So so apparently people came by but uh we don't have a trade depot, so so I guess nobody comes. Good times. Okay, well let's uh Go back down into our dwarf fort. Yeah, I, I guess it's it's just one of those things. But I mean, I've played so many. Uh, I've played a lot of ancient games that aren't user friendly. Like uh, it's like when I played Might and Magic, the first one, and it was. Uh, oh hey, someone wants to discuss my situation. But like you know, even with that, like I, I never really had that much of an issue getting a handle on controls. This game, goddamn. Huh, oh, this is a lot. <laughs> hmm. So, a group calling itself the Girder of Braids founded Clan Whip after a long journey from the lands of the confining citadel. Huh, so... Oh, man, it's a lot of text. Tiny text, too. Hmm. Well, it seems like a bunch of things are happening. I mean, all I really get is that things are happening in the world things I don't even know anything about, so let's continue. Hmm. Uh, I guess begin discussion. So I can... So these are merchants, and I can view their stockpiles. I guess if I need things, I can... I don't, I don't know. Hmm. Huh. Uh, I'm not really too sure. Hmm. Also, let me check. What's the li what's the li huh? Well, that does definitely look a little bit uh, interesting. <laughs> interesting, I will say. Okay. Okay. Anyhow. So hmm. So I can re request things for the next season. Okay. All right, well, I don't really know what I need. Uh, I, I don't know if I should ask for anything or if we're good. Hmm. Okay, so they'll bring more, but it'll cost more. I, like, I, here's the thing, is I don't know what I need. I, I have no idea what I might need, you know? I have absolutely no idea what I could possibly need. Maybe weapons? Like, do I want weapons? Yeah, I, see, this is the thing. I don't know what I need, so I'm just gonna ignore it. <laughs> huh. Okay, can I just... Huh. Your craft dwarf ship. Okay. 
Okay, I, I think we're, we're good. Okay, you look look forward next year. It's nice. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it, again, that seems like something that maybe in my next playthrough of this, maybe I could get more out of. Not this time. Okay, um... Hmm. So, back in my dwarf fortress here, what might I need? What might I need? Also, I feel like I should do something about all these idle people. Um... Maybe, like, I need another farmer? I don't know, I just got, got a bunch of idols just sitting around. I, I want to do something with them. Uh, he's on mining, but he's not doing anything, so how about... I don't know, let's, let's put him on something something fun. Uh, how about farming, farming related? Uh, he can be a farmer, he can work the fields. Yeah. There we go. Look at look at him go. What, what is he even doing? Where is he going? I want to watch that guy. See what he does. Okay, I guess he's uh, he's gonna go work in the fields. All right. Hmm. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Uh, pause. Hmm. I love it. Just, what? Yeah, so that's what that big D is. Phrasing. Phrasing. So let's let's go back up to the top. Uh, I guess I could make a pasture. Um, again, all the phrasing in the chat. So yeah, it's it's starving to death. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. Um, so, okay, how do I make a pasture? How do I even do that? Uh, is it a designation? I don't see it. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wait, wait, I. Okay. So, I. So we're, we're zoning right now. Uh, here's the entrance to the fort, so I guess I'll just, like... I can do this, and, uh... I guess... Give it a good size zone. Okay, so this is an activity zone. So, I guess we just hit. Uh, well, hold on, hold on. Let me. Uh... Hmm. So, wait, hold on. Hospital animal training active. I guess a pen or pasture. Okay, pen pasture. And then hit enter. Uh, pen, pa oh, I guess let's do it again. So, pen pasture set and pasture information. Do I do it again? No. Oh, oh, wait, wait, hold on. Do they mean shift N, right? Like, because that's how this game rolls? Yeah, I figured it. I figured. <laughs> I love that. It's it's like, no, you, you hit N. No, shift N. I was like, but I already hit N. It's, uh, I, I forget. The lowercase and, and uppercase are, in fact, two different things. So, um... Okay, I got stray cats. I have a, I have a stray donkey. Uh, only one, only one. But I guess let's assign it. So the the donkey is assigned to the pasture. Do we have any other animals? Not really. Now see, I wish I could. Like I want to put all the cats. Uh, like I want to get the cats in a pasture. Okay. Uh, but I guess that probably wouldn't wouldn't work out so good. Uh, oh hey wait, there's a there's a stray horse too. Hold on, uh, let's put that in there too. So we're gonna put the donkeys and the horses in the same place, and a camel. Oh right, got a camel. That's nice. Uh, 
Okay, then. Hmm. Yeah, I got it. So, we're good, then. We're, we're good. We're okay. So, I've, I've assigned a pasture. And if I hit Q again... Or no, no, if I hit I... Oh, okay, so I can see it now. So, it's I. That's, that's zoning. I got it. I gotcha. Okay, so now that the donkeys and all that, they're... Uh, okay, yeah. See, they're all kind of hanging out there. The, the C's and the D's and the H's, they're all... They're all hanging out, having fun. Gotcha. Man, all... See, all I can think about... Like, all I can think about... Is just, like... Just the letter D and the letter... You know, the letter H. Just, uh, like, just the, the alphabet letters just kind of roaming freely in the, in the pasture. <laughs> it's the alphabet ranch. Okay, so meanwhile, back down in, in virtual boy land. Um, again, not too sure what I need to do here. <laughs> I just wanted to have a cat ranch, man. Just wanted a cat ranch. That's all I wanted. <laughs> okay, um... So, from here, where might I want to go? Like... Uh, hey look, the cats are giving birth to kittens. Quick, send it to the slaughterhouse! <laughs> hmm. Man, all those lowercase d's roaming around. <laughs> Well, the cats are definitely breeding. <laughs> and it looks like food is okay. The, the food storage area is doing all right. Hmm. Uh, oh, right. Booze. I forgot. Uh, Z. Yeah, we need more drinks. I, I really... I, I want to... I, I want to automate it. I want to automate the booze crafting, but it, I mean, there, there has to be some way to make them, you know, craft responsibly on their own. Th there's got to be some way to do it, right? You know, like, uh, there's got to be some, you know, if there's this many in the store, you know, in storage, stop crafting. <laughs> uh, okay, let's add a new task. Uh, brew from plants. Let's do that many, just so we, uh, got it all set up. Hmm. Oh, plugins! Of, of course! Of course there's plugins. Why, why wouldn't there be? Why wouldn't there? Uh, okay, okay, um... <laughs> so yeah, I, I think I get where this is going. We, we want walls, we, we want fortifications, we want weapons, I I, I get it, I, I can kind of see where this is going. Um, let me save my game. I, I haven't done that this whole time. Oh, this is gonna take a while, ain't it? <laughs> oh, yeah, computer starts heating up. <laughs> Window not responding. <laughs> I, I love this thing, how it just... How it's it's taxing even on a it shouldn't be shouldn't be taxing but it is okay hmm okay okay so I can continue or uh okay I think you know I um so usually this is how my streams go usually I play a game for maybe like two to three hours. And then I switch over, play a different game for another two to three hours, and it's, it's how I like to do things, right? <clears throat> uh, make a nice good time of it. But uh, I, I have to be very honest, playing this game, I'm intrigued and interested. I think it's fun. I actually think this game is, is right in my wheelhouse. However, um, it hurts my eyes to look at in its current state, and like I, I'm experiencing some eye strain here. Uh, I don't feel great after playing this game for four hours, so I think I'm going to call it here. I think I'm going to call the stream here. Um, <laughs> but, um, 
Yeah, I, I have to be honest, lots of new folks in here and uh, lots of really good advice and suggestions and uh, just helping me to even comprehend how this game works. I appreciate all of it, actually. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think I, you know, I think I'll be doing it again sometime. I, I do. I, I think I will definitely play this game another time. Not tomorrow. Definitely not tomorrow. Uh, I got other things I need to play, but I, I think I'll be coming back to this at some point in time, and maybe with that with that texture pack because I I think I could use it. <laughs> I, I mean, oh well, yeah, I know, I know tinfoil, I know tinfoil. I would love to have done Starflight Two tonight. I really would. I'd, I'd love to continue my Starflight Two adventure. Uh, especially since I, I've killed so many Tandaloo that um, they're hostile to me now. <laughs> but uh, well, next time, maybe next time. Although I kind of want to get back to Star Ocean next time as well. I don't know. Then I got King's Quest, Mask of Eternity. I don't. I don't even. Um, but, but either way, um, either way. Thanks for showing up, and uh, I'm gonna try to get out of here before. Uh, you know, before my eyes just explode. I'll look into the Lazy Noob pack. I will look into it. Um, and like I said, I like this game. It's a good game. It's fun. It just, I wish my, I wish that it didn't hurt my eyes physically so much. Um, tomorrow, who knows what we'll be doing. Uh, I got King's Quest Mask of Eternity I want to get back to. Um, we've got a really fun mini game that we play. Uh, it's called Will It Crash? because um, the first time I streamed that uh, Mask of Eternity, uh, it crashed no less than like a dozen times. Um, it crashes on loading, crash. it crashes if you look at things the wrong way. I love it. <laughs> yeah, Dwarf Fortress, I'll come back to it in a few days. Uh, how about that? I'll come back to it in a few days, and maybe with the texture pack. Uh, now that I know how to play the game, uh, might be more fun. We'll see. We will see. And and yeah, like, I'll maybe check some things out. You know, get some of those hot tips and tricks when it comes to playing Dwarf Fortress. We'll see. We'll see. Also, it is, um, I mean, as, as someone